morning. Good morning, everyone. Wait, 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 wait. You're wearing the shirt. Are we going on vacation? I busted out the shirt. We're leaving. We're going on vacation. This is a little bit different today because we don't normally have like time in the morning on a vacation no, morning, whether it's, it's a road like, trip or a flight. So early. We usually get up like five in the morning, sometimes much earlier. We're rushing to the airport. We're getting kids out the door to hit the road early. But today it's like 8:20. We don't have to leave for another hour. No big deal. In fact, we're gonna make a stop on the way, exchange a swimming suit size. We got time, guys. We're heading out. Got ready. You guys haven't washed my hair in a long time. Ready. We are ready to go. Good. We're heading to Puerto Rico today. It is a full day of travel. We leave our flight leaves at about one in the afternoon here locally, and we will arrive at one in the morning in Puerto Rico. A full day of travel, and if we haven't mentioned this, or if you didn't know, we will be flying with Dan and Shell. We are all together. We take up one entire we're row so of seats, plus a little row in front of us, oh my so gosh, we have so all of us together. It's going to be so fun, and we do have, so stay tuned for this. It's going to be fun adventure. We have a very tight turnaround in our connecting flight. There is even a 10-minute delay on today's flight. We probably won't make the connecting flight. That should be a fun thing to stick around and see what happens. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be amazing. I'm like losing sleep over it. We're going to pack up, grab our bags, get them loaded, head off, get to the airport, and get this vacation started. Let's get it started. Oh, hey, VK. Oh, hey. <laughs> Suitcase. Moment of truth. Will it shut? Done some reorganization here. We've got them lined across the bottom. Maddie's at the top. And we've got two right here. This is how we got to roll when seven of us are leaving for 11 days. And that doesn't include massive carry ons like that. Woo! Wish us luck. Fingers crossed. Let's try and shut this back door. Oh, I can hear it crunching. I can hear it crunching. It didn't do it. It didn't do it. No! <laughs> we can make it work. We got it all the fish. All the bags and all the kids are in the van. We're gonna make it. The reason we did this, we were gonna have Dan and Shell maybe take Maddie or a bag or something, but then we realized we're coming home after them. So if we can't get to the airport with everything, we're not gonna be able to get home. So we yeah. needed to make sure it all fits. So we got all the bags in, all the kids in. The house is empty. We're Where's not locked? in though. We're not in. Do you wanna go on a cruise? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go Puerto Rico. Oh Puerto Rico. This is the lineup. We got all our bags. We got all our people. We're at the airport. We're in plenty of time. We're actually Woo! really early. We're actually super early. Guys, look at this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six bags, seven carry-ons, seven humans, we 11 days. Are crazy! Puerto Rico. Here we come. Southern Caribbean. ABC Islands. I don't know what this accent is. All right, mom, lock the car. I locked it. We'll see it in like a couple weeks. This is so amazing looking all of these bags. This is incredible. I love the sight of us traveling. I love the way this looks. Cavalcade, is that a word? I gotta look that up. Of bags and people and carry-ons, backpacks, kids just ready for adventure. I love this vibe. I love this look. I love this family. And we love you guys. Uh, sweetie, you got your book? Got my passport. Got your booklet? <laughs> I'm ready. We successfully made it through security Locked in a in like snap. A chip. TSA pre-check is one of the best things that we have done well, this year for all of our travels. I know, it's it has been, been so unreal. amazing. We skip the line every time. Everyone's super friendly. You don't have to take anything and out of your bag. You don't have to take your shoes off. It's no, so nice. but this time he goes, are you guys like a YouTube family? He's like, I saw the camera and all the gear. I had to, had to ask. Yes, <laughs> Good guess, good guess. Check us out. This is how we bring them. Subscribe down below. <laughs> Guys, now it's a party. Who's ready to go cruising? Hey, Woo! Like, all get the black I know, and white I saw memo. that. I was like, did you do that on purpose or is that by total random chance? It's freaking party time right now. Let's go. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, oh, hey, it's time. I've got the shirt on. Let's go. <laughs> About to board it's the plane. Time. 
it is time to get on right now. I'm gonna say this, you guys know that we traditionally fly Delta, that's almost like exclusive, but we fly, we rack up the Sky Miles, they've got a lot of convenient destinations from here in Salt Lake City. But today we did JetBlue, and guys, we have been so impressed with their service. Tammy at JetBlue, you know who you are, you're amazing. She remembered us from when we went to Disneyland without mom. She's like, welcome back, Binghams, how was Disneyland? I'm like, how do you remember that? It was know, unreal, really. like, great customer service. We're about to board a JetBlue flight to JFK. Just found out we're gonna get in 10 minutes earlier than anticipated. Well, we're just so lucky. So we should make the flight to San Juan, getting in tonight at 1 a.m. Join us for the journey. Everybody's got their seating assignments, everyone knows where they're sitting. And we just found out they have complimentary drinks and snacks. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, are you guys in first class? Because we don't get yeah. <laughs> Just like little little sample sizes. Everyone's fighting over who gets to sit by Dan and Shell. Me and Mom might get to sit by Nobody each other for once. Nobody fights over me. The little brown thing? Yeah, you have to throw in the garbage. Who are you going to sit by on the airplane? You. Yeah. Did you just make that basket? <laughs> oh yeah. First time using the right, ABC, yeah? You guys, you want to see everything that we're doing on our cruise between us and the Madsons here. It's hashtag ABC yeah 2019. This is the hashtag. You can search that and find everything we're doing on this cruise. But also check our Instagram at this is how we bring them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. Thank you. ABC ya. I've told you how I always travel with whites. I wish you could see just how gross this tray table is. And this is not a knock on any particular no, airline. It's just Every tray, tray table tables. we've ever seen opens up like this. I don't know how often these get washed, but I don't think it's very oh, often. It's pretty gross. We're on the plane, we got our seats. The seating arrangements have been figured out. We got mom by the window. Yeah. Casey's next to me in the middle. Oh yeah. Oh, I love you so much. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We actually, in all of our flights, I don't know if I've sat by Hazy. I don't know that I've ever sat by you. I'm always by the boys. So this is a very fun flight for me to be with my girls. This is awesome. I love <laughs> and over here guys, let me show you what we got. We got Michelle, we got Maddie, we got Rex. Rex's special request was to be right by Ant and his sister, his ladies. And we got Crew, Daniel, and Rye Guy sharing the love up there. We're just commenting on the excessive leg room in these jet blue flights. Look at this. Like I feel like the seat should be like right there. We yeah. got all this extra leg room. Like this is crazy. This is awesome. We just landed here, we are in JFK, landed in New York. Came into this gorgeous, fiery sunset with the New York skyline. Couldn't get a great shot of it, but it was picturesque and gorgeous. We just had, though, a late last minute gate change. You guys know this was a tight turnaround, a very tight flight turnaround. We had to really hustle to our next gate. They just moved it 15 gates away, guys. We've got to run to make this flight. No, it's 10 more gates. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Mindy, come on! <laughs> That flight couldn't have gone better. That JetBlue flight was incredible. The service was incredible. Lake service was amazing. We're hoping for the same thing. We have almost the same length of flight, a few minutes longer actually on this one, to get down to Puerto Rico. JetBlue again, same seating arrangements. They did change the gate on us, 10 gates down. A little bit of hustle involved. A little bit. I'm Mom's hobble. They're boarding now already. They're closing the gates in 15 minutes. So we are going to make it, you guys. Huge miracle, huge blessing. But that has been so far the perfect flight. Yeah, the kids it's were been great. Awesome. They were really good. Everyone was really good. Hazy slept great. for half of it. It really was. I don't want to jinx it. That was the perfect flight. Hoping for a repeat of that on our second flight as we head into Puerto Rico right now. Next stop, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Great news. We got here and they haven't even started boarding yet. They're still doing their like flight pre-check security things. Now we're just waiting on them, which is funny that we I had to hobble over here. This row and then this row, guys. Hi. We've made it, we're on the flight, we are loaded. This is actually like an upgraded, significantly upgraded plane. Yeah, the last yeah, like even these just. Oh, <laughs> they're just waiting for everybody to get on the plane, shut the doors, and we are off to San Juan, Puerto Rico. We'll be in at about one o'clock this morning. I think I said that a few times, just keeping track of the time in my mind. I know. Even more space seats available in rows one. As they make this announcement in Spanish, I was just telling Mindy and Michelle how cool it is when you go and look for the departing flight and you're looking on the board and it's like, let's see where it is. San Juan, Puerto Rico, there it is. We've never done this. This is very exciting, very fun.
because the flights were back to back and we had to hurry from one to the other, we have not had a chance to eat a meal today. We've only had in-flight snacks, that's it, and the stuff that you saw in our carry-on. As a result, we've got to order meals here on the plane. The kids actually love doing that. It's not something that we do all the time, but it's the only way we could have dinner tonight, so everybody's ordering something. So it turns out in these after hours flights that they actually don't have meals, so we're stuck with snack packs again. Still no meals. But guys, we're about to eat for like nine days straight on a cruise, so I think we're okay. Probably better. We made it to our room in Puerto Rico. It's actually a fantastic room. This is like the living room area. Back there you've got two beds and a totally separate room. Awesome. Total love it. However, mom just made the brilliant observation that they're gonna start serving breakfast in three and a half hours here. Breakfast starts at 6 a.m. It's 2.30 it's 2 in, the in the morning, you guys. We've gotta sign this vlog off. We gotta get these kids into bed. We've gotta get as much sleep as we can. We don't wreck the first day of the cruise. The idea for tomorrow is we're able to get onto the cruise ship at 12.30, I think, which is pretty early. It doesn't leave until like seven at night, so we might get on early, give like a full tour of the ship, let the kids kind of see what a cruise boat's all about, all yeah. stuff that's on there. Come back tomorrow. Make sure you're joining this adventure. It's going to be amazing. It's be fun. And it's just beginning. And guys, should we give them our first ABC ya? One, two, three. A B C. Oh, you're so big. Casey, you're on a cruise ship right now. We walked in and she goes, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> what do you think, bros? Hello and good morning, everyone. <laughs> you guys, you know where we are right now. We are on our... Does it look like we're inside of a boat right now? Does this look at all like the inside of a boat? It is. It looks like the inside of a luxury hotel, but we are floating on the ocean right now in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We just boarded the Freedom of the Seas, I'm Royal so Caribbean. The kids are freaking out about the elevators, the staircases, the gold trim. It's beautiful. Everything. It feels amazing in here. We haven't eaten in a day and a half though, guys. But you know what? That's really okay. True. We're about to go on a marathon of eating. Everything that you see here, you can eat as much as you want, as many times as you want, any hour of the day that you want. So let's get ready to eat. Whoa. Oh, wow. There's a pull-out bed in there, and then me and you in yes. here. Yeah, there's balconies. Cool. Wait, does the balcony go this entire length right here? There's like layout chairs out here on the balcony. Raga, how's that? Wait, this is that a, a closet? This is a bigger closet than like Whoa, a normal hotel. sweetie. Hotels. It has like a walk-in like walk closet. <laughs> Holy yes. awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> bathroom is in here. It has a tub. No, it does no, not. It has a tub. Are you kidding me right now? No joke, it has a tub. Wow. And a counter. We did all that talk about no counter yeah, space. This yeah. one has a counter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. Well, could get used to this. Little editing station right there. We just got to our room. We're pretty stoked about it. Sweetie, what do you think of the accommodations here? Amazing. I'm gonna say they're pretty sweet. Oh, I just did so it. Sweet. So we sweet. We could all sleep in here. I mean, look at like this floor with I like a lounge here. When I talk like, about here. cruise staterooms, I literally talk about how you have to like kind of stand up like this and just like gooch through like no, that. Really. Are you we're... ever even able to fully stand in there? <laughs> Seriously, you got a crouch. <laughs> guys, we're all in here like comfortably just oh, hanging wow. out. And let me come out here a little bit further, guys, out onto the balcony. I mean, we've got room for days here. Very, very impressed with this little, it's like a mini suite. It's not even like a full suite, it's like a junior mini suite. Very nice accommodations. We've got everybody into their rooms. Everybody's been divided out. I think everybody's loving the place where they're staying. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. We Woo! haven't eaten in a while, so we said, much. so they've got a buffet going right now on the 11th floor. We want to give you guys a full walking tour of this cruise ship because we've got, actually guys, like five-ish hours until the cruise sets sail. We'll give you guys a tour of the ship, show you some of the fun stuff there is as we find out what there is to do. And then we'll be setting sail into the Caribbean Sea on our way to Aruba. The magically transform all of these tired, hungry people into okay. excited, happy, full cruisers. Welcome aboard! Is there a better way to start off a cruise than here dining at the buffet? There are so many choices here. Mind, Mind blown. blown. Now, we talked a lot about cruising and how that's all about like the food. We thought we saw the food. It was just one buffet line. There's like five or six more over There's here. There's so much.
We're up here on the top. We're taking a little walking tour of the ship right now, giving the kids the breakdown of the safety rules as you come by these railings, guys. I mean, it's straight down from there, so you yeah, definitely so want to be safe. Give them a very serious talk and let them know. Not funny business. You guys have to be safe. Don't climb over. Don't look over. Just look. There's plenty to see out in the distance. Don't lean over. Guys, Anna we... has like lost sleep over this for like a week. So <laughs> yeah. Yep. Kids are listening. I think I think everybody's got the gist of it. Stay away from the railing and the edges at all times. We've got the awesome pools over here. We're gonna go check out the flow rider right oh my now. Gosh, this place is cool. Dad being the true savage that he is, he wants to bring you guys the best content he can. Against everything I've read on all these blog posts about going on a cruise and taking a drone, we all kind of told him not to, but he's like, oh, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. He sends it up and it goes off and it's great. And he goes, oh crap, you guys, my drone is landing in 18 seconds. So he brings it down and we watch it go right past our balcony and it goes down, down. It lands two floors below us. I said, you and Daniel run to go find it. They ran out there and within like 30 seconds, Brandon messaged us and he's like, they found me. So he is with security right now and he is yeah, he said security got him and they radioed in we found the drone operator <laughs> I told Brandon, I was like, let me come find you. He's like, I think it's probably best if you don't come find me. I asked them what's happening, and he said, we're looking in rooms with a guy right now. So I think they're looking in rooms to find the drone. I'm thinking at best, just his drone will be taken away. Michelle's thinking possibly a fine. I don't know, are they gonna kick him off the boat? Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Jail? 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 <laughs> We've got the kids here hanging out. I'm actually a little bit nervous. We'll keep you updated, keep you posted on what's gonna happen with dad as of right now. He and Daniel are with security. Brandon is the official drone operator the official. at the moment. They're bringing security up to our room. So, Brexton, let's get off the chair like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone act normal, act normal. Shh. No, for real, for real. Okay, everybody just sit down. Hey, I gotta get some shoes on. We're gonna go down to the first floor. If you can bring down the case with the drone, so. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Is Daniel with you? Yeah, he is. He's right there. Um, Hi, babe. Apparently Brandon tried to land it, but it was going down so he couldn't make our balcony. So he hit a balcony two below us. So we're like, okay, well, let's just check the room number two below us. So we went down two decks, found that room number. Of course, nobody's in their room right now. Right when we're there, a security guy comes up. What? Like, they know exactly they what one. Okay, right so away. right here, Katie Corner, there's a bunch of security down there. On the ground. We should have looked there's around There's a ton first. of security. Yeah, they knew right away and people were looking right away. So Brandon just like basically <laughs> pretty frank, like, oh, my drone was self-landing and I had to land it two floors below my deck so I think it's out on this deck. He was stern at first but then you know Brandon's so likable and they're just <laughs> chatting. It's super nice. He, he got a guy nice. to open the door. So Brandon's looking on his thing. You could see the camera and so we saw him go out to the balcony and pick it up. Look what I have. <laughs> the SD card of it all. <laughs> this is the SD card. <laughs> I think they're taking it away for sure. Brandon's saying they're gonna take him down to the first floor. <laughs> yeah, what's on the first deck? I know. <laughs> I know. We Except need to find the, out what's on the first the floor. The ship prison, I don't know. Darius, no, like, that's not funny. The ground is on the first know, floor. Like, no. First floor is underwater, folks. I've got I the- I can't hear you scream under there. Sorry. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That went crazy. So dad's down there with security. We're gonna update you guys when he comes back, what's gonna happen, but he's hoping that they don't take him off of the boat. Stay tuned. <laughs> You got a remote! Droneless. <laughs> Droneless. <laughs> So are you gonna get it back? Oh, what, what do you have? Okay. I have an item, a prohibited item receipt. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys. god. And I thought my that? kids were gonna be the ones getting arrested on this trip. <laughs> but you're not arrested, you're off the boat. We were just having a conversation if we would still go on the cruise without you if you had to stay here or not. I'm betting you guys done. voted you would still go. I would want you the to The best go. part is Daniel's like, well, for sure we would get off. And I was like, yeah. yeah. I love that you stay. Thank you. I would hang out in Puerto Rico. You guys can come back and tell me how it was. Tyler was like, we would stay and party. For sure. So yeah, drone is gone. They did say I can try and get it back at certain ports. I just have to go check with security, bring my prohibited item receipt. I can get it back to fly like at the beaches and when we snorkel and stuff. And then I just have to give it back to them when I get back on the ship. Oh, that's nice though. So at the end of the 
Daniel so when mommy and daddy let me take the home. drone out, they'll let me take the drone out. But B, they said, Daniel said within seconds they were looking for you. Oh, not only was it within seconds, they found us in minutes, like short, short minutes. They found us. And then he radioed in, I found the drone operator, we've got the drone operator. When I just went down to security right now, and there's seven or eight people who were like, that's him, yeah, we've got him. Okay, guys. Oh my god. Code alert is done. Drone operator oh, we, has been found. We went out on the balcony and Mindy saw a ton of security guys that were down on the ground. So the second it goes out, and that was probably part of the problem that I launched over where you get on the security side right there. The second it went out, they went looking. Okay, don't bring drones on cruises. It's not allowed anywhere near the cruise boat. Even when we're at the next port, the cruise is a floating no-fly zone. So you can never fly around a cruise ship. Now we know. Yeah, Feels like they may have said that. Who said that? Me! This is what they call the promenade. Now tell me, does this, once again, like we're on a boat, are we on a ship right now? nicer than malls that we have at home. This is like a sick, legit mall, and the best part is, as you walk down through here, ice cream, pizza, restaurants, cupcakes, so much stuff that you guys can get, and literally, you guys, you just walk up, you grab it, you go, it's all been taken care of when you're cruising, it's all taken care of. The one we gotta try though is that pizza place. Amazing, you guys. We're doing the mandatory mustard station roundup right now, where you gotta go, you gotta get to your station, figure out where you're gonna be in the event of an emergency, so the kids are gonna round up, and then I think we're gonna get our first dinner, a lot of food themes today. We're gonna get our first dinner tonight at our table. It's gonna be really fun and it's fun because you eat all together. So we're assigned with our whole group, nine of us. So it's gonna be really fun every night to regroup, eat dinner, get to know our server. It's gonna be awesome. Guys, are you serious? This is where we're eating every night? This is the coolest seat. Oh my gosh. On cruises, you sit in the same spot every night. Rexy Doodle, can I sit by you? He's saving it for Michelle. Oh, you save it for Michelle, that's you even better. Sit right I'll sit right here, okay, sit by Crew We Do. Just off the edge here, you guys. This is our backdrop, are you kidding me? This is where we're eating every night. Look at the chandelier, the artwork. Oh my goodness, I am loving this, you guys. Crew We Do, you breaking into the bread already, bud? Yes, look at the butter is not here again. I need more butter. The bigger kids went and put stuff back in the room, so I stood right by the entrance. I was the very first one in here. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yes. They brought us our menus. We have a kids' menu for the kids. And you guys, if you want, you can order five of everything. You literally can go down the menu and order all of it, as much as you want of it, as hungry as you get. Creme just eat. Creme brulee. Are you serious, guys? And the menu changes every night, so what we're getting tonight will not yeah. be on the menu tomorrow night. So we always get to choose different oh, things. Spaghetti bolognese. This is the family's first time on a cruise, and I think the kids are just loving the fact that you can order whatever you want, as much as you want. So we're the earlier dining, so we're gonna try and eat right now and then get out as the ship leaves and set sail into the ocean and catch that as well. So we're gonna eat real quick and try and get out there for setting sail. So we had an amazing dinner. Actually, to be honest, people weren't that hungry. Everyone just had one entree, one dessert, and some didn't even get starters. We gotta learn how to cruise a little bit better after this, guys. Maybe eating a little more food. Mindy had read a lot of blog posts gearing up for this cruise. What to bring, what to pack, the secrets, the hacks, the tricks. And one of the things that she read is particular to our ship is to watch the launch. I don't know what you call that. What is that when you like take off? Anyways, when you set sail, that on Freedom of the Seas in particular, they allow you on the helicopter pad. So Brexit Doodle, where are we right now? On the helicopter pad. We found the helicopter pad right now we're about to set sail now guys this is a little different I have never set sail in the dark before I've never set sail at night before it's 8 o'clock p.m. here we're supposed to leave at 8 30 we're leaving about 30 minutes and we just found the helicopter pad so we're gonna hang out here it's kind of a little known secret because most people don't realize you can come out here and usually you line the top decks of the ship back up there that's what I've always done in the past that's what I've done when it's sunny outside this is supposedly the best place to watch as we sail away because we are on the very front end of the ship that right there where is it there that right there is where you do your little Titanic pose that is the absolute front of the ship helicopter pad for the launch coming up in about 30 minutes. We have officially set sail. We are in the ocean, the open ocean right now. And what are we doing? We're getting a slice of pizza, pizza. because we can. They got pizza, so we're getting some. And I think mom wants some ice cream, yes? I want ice cream. Yeah. 
wrapping up our very first day here and we are now set sail heading toward Aruba. Tomorrow's an at sea day, but it's even more than that. It's this little lady's birthday tomorrow, you guys. I keep forgetting that. When she wakes up, she's gonna be ancient. Not as ancient as you. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never catch me. Massive happy birthday to this girl. Tomorrow is gonna be a fun full day at sea. We're gonna be celebrating her birthday at sea. We got some fun surprises up our sleeve for her. Plus, we think it's formal night here on the cruise ship. So we're gonna be getting dressed up fancy, having Let's a fun hope. dinner. We hope it'd just be too perfect if it was the formal night, be day fun. at sea, mom's birthday. Great first day coming for you tomorrow. Don't miss it. We love you guys. We'll see ya. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy birthday. Oh, wow. Happy birthday wow. to you. Thank you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. See if you can pass that through there. Oh, they did such a good like, job. Oh my gosh, wow, perfect. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate it. Come here. Birthday, enjoy okay. your day. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, did you do that? Dan and she all did last night. Let's open this up real quick. Mom's got a little breakfast yes. on the balcony in bed here. Hello and good morning, you guys. On a very special day, a full day at sea. Mom's birthday, you guys. Happy birthday. This is why we're on the cruise, you guys. We were on the cruise. Me? For mom's birthday. Little fruit plate, something light, because we don't want you to have a full stomach, mom, because also the reason that an alarm was set, you're starting your day with a Swedish massage. First thing out of the gates, you're getting a massage. We've got it booked. Are you serious? Very serious, and it's in 30 minutes, so I'm like, that breakfast better get here because she's got a massage in 30 what minutes. Time is it? She's debating swimming suit. She's trying to figure out what to do. I'm like, well, you're not gonna care because you're getting a massage, but surprise, surprise, you guys, happy birthday. I have wanted a massage <laughs> since Hawaii. I never got one in Hawaii. We so weren't able to book one in Hawaii. Then. We went to New York and the masseuse had just quite in our hotel. Couldn't get I one there. I really have been trying. And when you're at home, it's like, I don't know, you don't need a Not massage. Not the same. Just, Vacations is where it's at. Like, oh, I just want to massage. Are you serious? Very serious. An amazing Swedish massage at the spa on deck 11 is awaiting for Mindy Bingham on her birthday. What? Eat some fruit out on the balcony over yes. the open ocean. Head on over to your massage to start oh your day. My gosh. I've got the kids. We'll hang out. You go get some relaxation. Let's get this day started. <laughs> Happy birthday. First of all. Happy birthday, sweetie. This is your view on your birthday. The open ocean right off our balcony. Oh my gosh. Why are you making me cry? Oh, why? <laughs> You're welcome. I love you. Make sure you guys brush your teeth, okay? Boys are in a different room, so they're calling to wish mom a happy birthday, but she's gotta go. She's got a massage in 10 minutes. Mom, you gotta go. Massage time. Get out of here. Go relax. I order you to relax. Oh, I will. <laughs> You're not gonna go. I don't know how. No, I wanna keep it. She wants to keep the decor. Okay. Love you. See you after your Success. massage. <laughs> See you, birthday girl. Wait, gotta, Forward. That way. Go. Deck 12. Forward of the ship. We've got mom off to the perfect start to the perfect day on the perfect woman's birthday. We love mom so much. It's going to be a fun filled day of fun in the sun. We're gonna be swimming today. We're hoping tonight's a formal night. We believe it is because it'd just be fun to dress up on mom's birthday and really celebrate her right because you guys know she goes all out to celebrate everybody else you guys have seen the parties that she throws the detail that she puts into them for each of the kids for myself just somebody who really deserves to be celebrated so we're excited to start the day off in this way smash the like button massive happy birthday for mom but for now i gotta get these kids fed and let's get out to the pool baby hey boys what do you think of the view for your breakfast here pretty cool <laughs> not too bad <laughs> <laughs> It's time now, it's official. We are cruising, we're at sea, we're on the ocean right now. Bro, guys, ready to go do some swimming, bro? Oh yeah. Full day in the sun. Now guys, it's packed out here. Like look at this, it is a madhouse. On the other side of that, there's the H2O zone. It's like a splash pad area where the oh, kids can play. There's fountains. It's actually really fun. That's like bright and colorful. Because this is the first at sea day, there's really not much for anyone to do except be at this pool if you want any sun. So the place is packed. I mean, look at this. There's not even like a square inch to stand in the pool. There's no places to sit. We lucked out big time, guys, because we booked the mini suite or junior suite, whatever it's called. They have exclusive sweet seating right here. So this is prime seating, guys. These were roped off and available just for us. The whole family sitting here. The perfect view of the screen, the pools, all the action. Going down right here. Mama's birthday. She just got back from her massage, actually. Let's just go see how that was. How was the massage? It was incredible. It was absolutely amazing. So relaxing. And then at the end, they tried to get me to buy their products, and the lady really emphasized my dark circles. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like making you feel like it's a birthday. I'm 33, whatever. Like selling you age. She's like, how old are you, and what ages are your kids? And I said, I have five kids. And she's like, well, how old are you? Because that's a lot of kids. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> What's that called? A mermaid! 
this entire pool at our disposal. This amazing splash pad, so much fun to be had. And the kids will not leave this little set of cacti. Mom won't stop dancing. She's dancing in the rain. It's her birthday. You can't tell. This is not coming from the waterfall. This is actual rain. It is pouring rain right now in the middle of the ocean. We couldn't be happier though. We couldn't care less. But the kids will not leave this little area. They like to slide back and forth across this. You got all this, all this, all this, and this is where they decided to hang out. I love it though. At first, guys, I was a little bummed about, a little upset. I was like, guys, there's so much more fun to be had, so much more to do. Don't waste your time in this one corner. But then I thought, you know what? 20 years from now, they'll say, you remember those two giant pillars of color? And we ran and we slid across them. And we had the time of our lives. We did it over and over for hours. Who am I to create the memories for them? Why would I tell them what they should do for fun? This is what they're loving. This is how much fun they're having. This is what they want to do. birthday girl so far we've hit up the splash pad the aqua zone we got some serious sun we got our I wristbands so. for the flow rider but first i think it's time we eat some more i haven't really eaten. i had a little bit of fruit this little morning. fruit plate let's get some real lunch so we're gonna go have some lunch then we're gonna do some rock climbing we're gonna do some flow riding and we're just gonna keep this birthday going i am gonna try and go get a tuxedo i need to go get measured for that i want to get a tux for tonight if it's the formal night let's do it that's how we do it 298 frozen patties later we had a yummy lunch got some water fueled up and now the guys are gonna head over and do the flow rider. So Daniel and I are gonna take Ryder and crew to do the flow rider. Ladies are gonna stay here, play in the pool a little bit, lay out, do their thing as we gear up for an amazing dinner and fun night tonight. Flow rider, laying out, swimming, full day of sea, full day of the day. pool, perfect birthday. All right, me and the little kids came and we're gonna do the lazy river. Hi right, guys, it's almost your turn, bros. You guys ready? We've been waiting in this line for a while. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do a bunny hop, maybe no hand in, and maybe stand on the back. Bro, how about you spray the audience, dude? Hey, right, Rye guy's going first. He's the first one up. The way this works is you have to go on the boogie board first to transition from a white wristband to a blue wristband. That enables you to surf at any time. Right now, you can only boogie board. This is also the boogie boarding session, so you can't do anything right now besides boogie board anyway. So right guy's getting his blue wristband now so he can surf next time. He's gotta prove he knows what's up with the boogie board here. All right, Kirby, dude, the savage is gonna show us what's up now. They have to have a parent here. It can't be an aunt, uncle, cousin, anything. It's gotta be a dad or a mom. Kirby, show them how it's done, buddy. Say that was harder than I thought it would be. You have to get on your knees, put your hands out. I wasn't able to complete it, but they still gave me the blue wristband, probably out of pity. But now we're doing a fun little photo shoot here on the back of the boat. How glorious is this? All around, just blue, blue ocean, a beautiful sunny day. Now it's time to get showered up, changed up. I'm gonna go try and rent a tux and we're gonna head off to a formal night. We did find out tonight this is the formal night dinner. Mom's got a beautiful gown, it's on. Here it is, formal night, mom's birthday. We are all dressed up, pretty. This is fun, you guys. Look at mom's dress. She found this in Washington, D.C., totally at random while shopping, hobbling around on one foot. The She'd kids been looking for a while. It, and I love it. And she stumbled on it at Macy's in D.C. So, it's amazing. It's exactly fit. the dress I was looking for. We went on for a little walk and I stumbled upon a Macy's and I was like, let's just go in and look and see if they have anything. I found it. Found the dress? It's gorgeous, you I guys. The yes. perfect birthday dress. She said yes to this dress. The tailor here busted his butt to get me this suit. He came to the room, measured me, got it to me in time. I gave him like 40 45 minutes to get the whole thing together. And he did it. Crushed it. it Thank awesome. you so much for the perfect combo on mom's birthday night. Now, just gotta go eat. Let's eat.
Mama Mindy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mindy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> We got a little more casual. Got into pajamas. <laughs> Birthday day is winding down. It was a pretty great day. I mean, we were out at sea all day. We had fun in the sun. Had a formal night tonight, and it was really fun. Not a bad way to celebrate a birthday, guys. I oh, the massage. We are on the balcony of our room. Kids are just asleep right inside there. We've got the open ocean behind us. Tomorrow we will arrive in Aruba. It's going to be our first port, our first day at shore. You guys, we are planning on hanging out at the beaches, doing some fun stuff there. We're going to try and rent some jet skis, some paddle boards, do some snorkeling. Just play. Everything Aruba. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna go into the little town, probably eat some fun little places there. So it's gonna be a great day. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Subscribe down below and turn on the bell so you know when we upload so you can see what we're doing on this fun, amazing cruise. We've loved hanging out with you today and especially thank you to all of you who sent so many birthday wishes to me. I really appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. You guys rock. We're very happy that this is working out, that we can share our trip with you guys, share this journey, and share Mindy's birthday with you guys. We love you tons. We'll see you tomorrow in Aruba. ABC ya! I don't know what you say. Like, I wanted to say aloha, bienvenidos. I don't know what you say. But we are in Aruba, you guys. Oh, Beautiful beaches of Aruba. You guys, we are so excited to be here so today. Hot. Guys, we are jacked out of our minds. Let's get that energy up. We are in Aruba. I think it's very hot. I think right now it's scorching hot. We just got umbrella, some chairs. We've got wave runners coming. We're going to be spending an hour on the wave runners out in that gorgeous turquoise blue water. It's so pretty. This is mind blowing, you guys. This is the most beautiful beach I think I've ever been to. We're going to be spending the entire day here. We're pretty jacked on that. As you guys can can see rocking the TISWB ABC merch. Yes. You guys can pick it up right now at this is how we slash swag. I do believe we have some men's and kids' tanks left. Women's are gone. Ladies are gone. And honestly, we haven't had much internet, so I'm not sure there's any left, but go check it out. Lanyards as well. I think those are actually gone I mean, too. You can actually wear the men's, just maybe size down. Guys, this amazing guy right here is digging us a little hole to put the umbrella in. Yeah. Welcome to Aruba. Yeah, welcome to Aruba. Thank you, bro. This is amazing, guys. Great first start, great beginning to our journey, our epic adventure here. First port of call. We're gonna do it upright big time all day and you're coming with us our own little slice of heaven right here today there you go we got the umbrella we got the gear i am just mind blown at how white this sand is like i can't get over how white this is in this water you guys i can't even see through the camera because it's so bright out here but i'm assuming you're looking at very bright bright blue water right now Wait, what did you say, Brexy? Moana water. He said, oh my gosh, it looks like Moana water. It does. I feel like I can walk up to it. It's going to part and I can find a little seashell. All right, Kirby, are you ready? You going to send it? Aruba, baby. <laughs> Woo, how does it feel? Dude, that is exactly what Brexit like, just described like, it as. The sand just looks so perfect. Both kids now have described this as a scene out of Moana where she walks up to the edge, it parts, she dips in, gets the seashell out. They're like, the sand is perfect, the water is perfect. It looks like a scene out of a movie, out of an animated cartoon. That's how perfect this setup is, you guys. And it's a little bit windy, but not nearly as windy as it typically is in Aruba. So I feel like we've got the perfect day here. <laughs> You guys know that you can open your eyes in ocean water. I used to think that that was something in movies when they would open their eyes. I'm like, that's not realistic. You can't open your eyes. They'd burn in the salt water. And then we were on a cruise. The water was so clear, just like this, that I forgot it was ocean. I thought it was a pool. So I opened my eyes and it wasn't until I've been swimming for like a few minutes that I went, wait, my eyes are open underwater in the ocean. It doesn't hurt at all. Fun trick, guys. Open I'm your eyes try it. underwater in the ocean. Three, two, one, Cindy. in Aruba. You guys, this is incredible. I can like see my feet. The water is so beautifully clear. It feels delectable. It's amazing. We are just loving it.
Check out this contraption Daniel brought. Leave it to the engineer to bring this freaking GoPro dome. I don't even know what this is, but it gets half underwater, half above water footage. So you guys gotta go to their channel, Dan and Shell. Check it out. I'll link the video for you. And they're gonna be doing some over underwater shots all along the cruise, like this whole time. Hopefully it's cool. I don't even know how it looks yet. I can't preview it because I can't get to my GoPro, but I think it's literally pretty. trying it for the first time. But it does have like some lines on the back that says like take it underwater to here. We won't know until we get back and review the footage, but so far, I love the concept. I love the idea. This We've been swimming be underwater, jumping up and down. Down, get half above, half under. Go to their channel, check it out in today's video. You got an idea? Oh boy. Wait, hold on. We had way on. Maddie went. <laughs> We had an incredible time out here playing in the water. Oh, We've been yeah. going for about a couple hours now. It's now time for what I've been looking forward to most, what the kids have been looking forward to most, and that is the Wave Runners. We've rented three Wave Runners for the next so hour. Fun. Cruz got his ball back there. Just behind us here, you can see the Wave Runners just tearing it up out there in the ocean. We're gonna go take three Wave Runners out on the open ocean. Three two-seaters, so six of us at a time. So mom's gonna hang back right now with Brex and Hazy. Brex wasn't that stoked. I don't think he loved it in Tahoe. Hazy just wants to play in the sand and in the water for the next hour. It's all Wave Runners, baby. driving this thing. I we're gonna head out. So There's bad. some light blue water. The barriers are this crane down here and another crane clear down there. So a ton of ocean to work with. And then there's a light blue water strip out there that's another barrier. I say we head to that right now and go check it out. Let's go. We just got major air, bro. Ah! shot driving his we got michelle and maddie over there on their wave runner maddie's off driving hers this is truly caribbean living doesn't get much better than this this is everything oh right right <laughs> to see crystal clear blue water all the way to the ground underneath you. This is amazing. You guys are like sharks circling us right now, by the way. We went and checked with mom. Turns out Brex doesn't want to do it. Mom doesn't even really want to do it. So we're just going to run up the rest of the time here. We're actually almost out of time. We're going to go send it for a few more minutes. Then we got to turn these bad boys back in, get together as a family, and probably have some lunch. You guys down to eat something? <laughs> Food in Aruba. Okay, let's go. Woo! Rock out here, kids.
We're back fresh off of our Wave Runner excursion. Now the kids are a little bit burnt out on energy, but how was it? Fun. Pretty awesome? I drove your town, it was so much fun. Dude, you were a boss out there. Right guy was with me, he was going full speed. It was so rad. Dan and Shaw have a good time out there on the Wave Runners? Oh so yeah. Fun. Mindy, how were the Wave Runners? It's good. Did you enjoy? I mean, it was like the, we did the donuts. The, the, I when the, we were like, chasing the, the catamaran. Just, like splash in your face and stuff. I didn't go, but I was willing to not go. We are reapplying sunscreen for the third or fourth time today. The sun is blistering hot. The sand is so white. It feels like it's just reflecting the sun right back on top of us. It's coming from every angle. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna eat, we're gonna hydrate. So we got a fun shack over here that's got some traditional Arubian foods. Burgers, fries. <laughs> Burgers, hot fries. Dogs. <laughs> All of the standard Arubian fare. I don't think Arubian is the word, by the way. Do they say Arubian? Arubian? That's what I'm having for lunch. For I could go for Arubian. Let's go eat, get some hydration, get some water in us, get sunscreen, maybe grab a little bit of shade, and then we'll finish off our fun time here in Aruba before we head back to the boat. It is Arubian. Rex is looking over the menu here. Some authentic Arubian food. Rex, what looks good to you, buddy? Uh, yeah. Anna. The fish heads? Yeah. We found this place called the Fisherman's Catch. I don't know what it's called. The Old Fisherman. The Old Fisherman. It's authentic Arubian cuisine, which I now know Arubian is a word, and that is what you call it. We were just told that their specialty, one of the best things they have, is the pineapple curry shrimp. Guys, I'm ordering it for sure. One, because it was her first recommendation, and I want the most authentic Arubian experience. Two, I just saw it on someone's table. You guys are gonna die. It comes in a full size pineapple. I'm ordering up the pineapple curry shrimp. Kids have found some fun stuff off the kids menu and we're about to eat finally. We're so hungry. I'm not really into like the shrimp and fish so I think I'm just gonna get a regular pasta or something. They do have pasta which is great for the kids, right? And Brex, you're getting that fish head? That Arubian wind coming in at us right now. We have had all the fun we can have out here today. We are sunned out, funned out. Kids got some subies. Hazy girl, and Hazy girl's thinking she got a little bit of summer. I think she either got some heat exhaustion or she just swallowed a ton of salt water because she's not feeling well in her tummy. So we're gonna get back on the ship right now, shower off, clean up, and get ready for the rest of an amazing night. Pretty awesome time here in Aruba? Yeah, definitely. One of the best days we've had so far. We just came out to catch this amazing sunset. How stunning is this? Wrapping up the perfect day in Aruba. It's been absolutely magical from start to finish, guys. Our favorite day so far. Right, guys, we're out here for the very moment. The sun dipping into the Caribbean Sea after the perfect day in Aruba. Good finish to the day? Yep. Pretty amazing. Pretty spectacular to be here with you, dude. Just sitting here watching this off the deck of a so cruise ship. Fun. Unreal. Unreal. This is insane. Look at this. <laughs> You guys. Feeling the cruise vibes right now. The yes. island music. The boys have jumped in the pool again. <laughs> They're right behind the pool. This one's asking to go back to the room. She wants to go to bed. So I'm gonna take her to the bed and start editing. I'm gonna hang with the older Mom's boys. Hang here. An amazingly fantastic day here in Aruba. Just so the perfect day. Stay tuned tomorrow. We will be in Curacao. Come back tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe down below. Supposedly one of the most colorful painted cities in the world. So that should be fun. Hopefully oh, they get my drone awesome. back for that one. That would be cool. We love you so much. We will see you guys all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ooh, guys, can you tell where we are from the back? Guys, we are in Curacao right now. Woo! One of the most beautiful. We are so 
painted colorful cities in the world. It was rated on like some travel something as the top 10 most colorful cities in the world. You can see the painted colorful bright buildings behind it us. It is beautiful Ooh. here. We're on this super rad bridge. I don't want to call it rickety because it's not rickety. I have noticed that it moves and sways with the waves and it's actually one of the few bridges in the world where when they move it to let ships through, you're allowed to stay on it. It moves to the side. It moves to the really side cool. and you're allowed to be on it when that happens. So we're kind of fingers crossing a boat needs to come through. We might get a chance to do that I'm today. I'm stay here the rest of the day till a boat comes. <laughs> For right now, you guys, we're going to head into the city. This is downtown Curacao. So colorful. Michelle's here. She's going to be taking some amazing pics. <laughs> Make sure you are following us on our Instagram at This Is How We Bingham. We're gonna be posting all of them there. They're gonna be so bright, They're so colorful. So good, you guys. Michelle is a rock star with the camera. Let's get some pics done. Let's get into the city and let's share this beautiful place with all of you. <laughs> this morning as we woke up on the cruise ship, we opened the windows and got to look out on our balcony. And we saw it and I was like, you guys, we're in Carousel. And Hazy goes, we're in Carousel? Where's the Carousel? I want to go in the Carousel. All morning long, she has been talking about the Carousel. I don't see the Carousel. I want to go to the Carousel. Mom, where's the Carousel? We're still trying to get it through. There might not actually be a Carousel here that we are in Carousel. But for you savvy Carousel creators out there, genius, genius idea, spot. put a Carousel, the Curacao Carousel here in Curacao. I think that would be a huge hit. <laughs> We'd come back. Carousel. Where's the carousel? Everywhere you travel, you see perfume cologne shops everywhere. And we're standing right next to this billboard, and it has a perfume that's called Sauvage. A cologne, thank you. A cologne. cologne. Col How do you say Sauvage. it? Sauvage. 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 Which, by the way, is savage. Oh! <laughs> I don't even care what it smells like, we're buying it. <laughs> we're buying it. It's for Brandon, you guys. So now I will legit smell like a savage everywhere I go. We're it's buying perfect. it. We're getting it. Excuse me, excuse me. A savage. Oh, a savage. savage. Mm. So that's like a fancy savage. Guys, we've been all over Curacao today. Get, Let's did go you get that? Get ice cream. <laughs> some ice? I think that's the best idea I've heard yet. Ice cream. Let's yeah. go. Ice cream or carousel? Ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> We didn't have as much planned for this city, like an excursion much, if you will say, or going to a beach. We more just wanted to walk around and see its beauty. It's really hot, really, really hot. We are sweating more than we are drinking, and so we are dripping buckets. Brandon like wiped what I thought was a tear from my face. I didn't realize I was sweating that bad. Ryler wiped my mustache, because I didn't even realize I was sweating. It's just so hot, you just feel like you're soaking wet constantly, but. At some point, we might want to try and find some oh, ocean to get in. We'll see. Oh, yeah, guys. we've got yeah, to find some. We've had a great time in the downtown part of Curacao. It's pretty hot, even though you can hear that wind, it's still very hot. So I think we're sous shopped out, we're pictured out, we've seen all the bright, colorful buildings, and now we're gonna go get some sun at the beach. We're gonna go get wet, cool off. We found this amazing beach, Kokomo Beach is what I think it's called. No, it's the ocean, I mean the beach where you actually see sand. Oh, the sandy beach with the ocean? Okay, we're gonna go swimming. There's supposedly a great restaurant there, beautiful beach location, about 20 minutes and a taxi ride. There's spots for nine people. Okay, here we go, we're going right now. to what's called the Kokomo Beach. Beautiful. Guys, if there was a seven out of five stars, this would get seven out of five stars. It gets 12 out of 10. It's unreal. The beach is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's just gorgeous water. Absolutely incredibly blue. It's this Perfect. little cutout, like in the middle of nowhere, you take this crazy dirt road through a desert and then you show up in this oasis. Look around us, you guys. Pure stunning beauty everywhere you look. And to top it all off, the restaurant we just ate at was unreal. It was so good. Easily the best food we've had of the entire trip. Delicious. It was when the water's this blue, the sun's this hot, there's only one thing you can do. You have to get in. You gotta jump in. This has to be the coolest use of beauty I've ever seen. A giant sign with the name of the beach on it. Kids are on the swings. I'm heading out there. Wait, you guys wanna just do you guys or should I try and get it? No, just them, because I don't fit in there. 
Is this awesome salt water? Yes! <laughs> Dad, I'm gonna do a spin around. Your mouth? Yeah, I got some in my mouth, but it's okay. I won't swallow, okay? okay. <laughs> ah. yeah. You doing some snorkeling? Yep. It's getting pretty deep. I think we're gonna get some fish here. Let's go out on that island. I wanna go jump off that island. You want to? <laughs> Floating island? Welcome. Hold my hand. Dad, yeah. Can you play jump with me? Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. We're doing a jump. Ready? One, two, two three, three. Jump. Dude, is this the coolest place we've ever swam? Oh, I think this might better be than <laughs> better than Hawaii. Sorry, Hawaii, but Sorry, Hawaii. <laughs> Brexy Doodle, dude. I am incredibly proud of him. Tomorrow's a full day of snorkeling, you guys, so he's getting his warm up right here. And I've never seen him swim so strong as he is right now. He's been out here on the edge of the platform swimming this entire time while we've been jumping. It hasn't come up once for a break. Pulling me in, guys. I can't make it. Brexton, you got me. Did you have fun out there? Love you. Kids are still playing back there. We brought Maddie out because when we got out to that little floating dock, she had a really bad owie on her side that she said really stung. We were wondering if there's jellyfish. We asked the local here, they said they do have small jellyfish. So we're gonna go get this taken care of and yeah. see if this is in fact right here, a jellyfish sting. You say it burns a little? Mm -hmm. At first it felt like it gets stung really bad. Like there was just like venom in my veins, but now it's calmed down a little. It doesn't hurt too bad, but I just have like this red rash circle with like little uh, yeah. bumps on it. Yeah, let's go get it checked out. We'll come into this place and see if they know anything. Specialties, they know specialties. Maybe will you go ask them? Excuse me, sir. Is do you know like if you have jellyfish here? <laughs> you do? <laughs> do you know if you guys have jellyfish out there? We do. You don't here? Yes, I do. I'm wondering jellyfish? if she has a jellyfish yes. thing. Is there any way yes. you could tell us? That right here, see? is this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, is. Enough. Yeah. More. What is it do? All over. Thank you. What is that? It's vinegar. 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 You want some? No, I don't want any. But maybe I can get a jellyfish. Does you want that one? look like a jellyfish thing? Yeah, is that what they I look like? I don't know. Like? <laughs> Thank you. Helps it a little bit? Yes. Okay. All better. That's all you have Some, to do? Sometimes it's also fire coral. Fire coral? Oh. oh. Maybe touch, but I don't know. I didn't experience any, any jellyfish today. They were out on the little yeah. platform island. But I didn't uh, hear from any other people that they were jellyfish. Oh, okay. Maybe it was something else. Just you, Maddie. For fire coral, it's the same stuff. That could have yeah. been. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank cool. Thank you. He says that they do have jellyfish. He didn't experience any today. We don't even know what it was. He just starts spraying her down with this spritzer thing. Vinegar. He's like, jellyfish? And he's like, you want some? It's vinegar. Does it feel better? Yeah. Are you instantly healed? We said, does this look like a jellyfish thing? And he goes, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're trying our best here, people. Jellyfish sting disaster averted. I know they do. They what? They could be a jellyfish or a fire coral, and they sprayed her with vinegar. Wow, so hold on. She actually got a fire coral.
Oh yeah, and I got the drone back. Oh yeah. yeah. We're wrapping up our time here at this beach. This has been an incredible day of fun in the sun, the floating island, a little bit of snorkeling, Ooh. just gorgeous blue water, amazing meals. Guys, was this an epic day? For Definitely. Sure. I feel like Curacao, so we awesome. did it right. We did it up good. We saw the town, we saw the beach, we saw all it had to offer. Now we're headed back to the ship. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, they're so amazing. That is so cool. Hey, see girl, what are those? Flamingos. <laughs> 12 seconds later. We just had to take a pause right now at this glorious sunset off the back of the ship here. I know you guys are probably all wondering an update on Maddie and her potential jellyfish sting, possibly yeah. fire coral. Much, much better. The weird patchy stuff on my skin went down. Honestly, now it got very kind red of though. Spotted, right? Yeah, now there's just like little specks. Yeah, honestly good. though, like at one point it was getting redder and redder and I was like, okay, at what point do you have to take scary. some drastic measures? I know. Yeah. I feel like we crushed Curacao. Like, do you feel like we just absolutely... Oh, it was so fun. <laughs> we were talking about how there was like the perfect combination of activities today. We did like the city, the town, you know, like the old town, Curacao, and then we actually went to one of the sickest beaches oh gosh, I've ever swam at. So beautiful. Beautiful. The swings were so the fun. The swings, the floating islands, and it magically had the most amazing restaurant yeah. in the middle of nowhere. It was so good. So good. Food has been on point. We have so much more to come tomorrow because the kids got a small taste of snorkeling today while we were there at they this beach. It. That was a warm up. Tomorrow is a full day of snorkeling. This is the Bonner. highest rated snorkeling tour in the Caribbean. Yes. So according to TripAdvisor, this is the one. We're doing it, So guys. we can't wait. It's a half day, five hours worth. We are going to be snorkeling all day. Two stops, Catamaran, Bonaire, coming your way. Oh, yeah. Don't miss it. We love you guys. We haven't been great at this. got to sign off. One, two, three. ABC. Good morning. What is up from Ooh. the... Island of Bonaire. We are in Bonaire, Bonaire. I don't know how you say that. The captain got on today called the Bonaire. He also said, welcome to the island of world-renowned diving and snorkeling. That's what we're doing today, you guys. That's what we're gonna do. We're getting on a sick catamaran. I saw it this morning. I was up at the gym, out the window. I saw it take off for the morning session. It's beautiful. It's gonna be amazing. First thing out of the gates. In fact, the only thing we're doing here is just snorkeling all day. So we're walking right now to our rendezvous point where we'll gather our stuff together, get on this boat. Yeah. We will head out to two diving spots, snorkeling spots. We're supposed to see sea turtles. We're supposed to see some great fish. It's supposed to be some of the best snorkeling in the entire Caribbean. We're gonna share it with you guys. You guys get to see what it's all about. How's the jellyfish thing today? Much better. Much Thank better. The vinegar did the trick. Yes. rated tour and I think we get why they have everything you could possibly need they're so experienced we're about to get in the water so excited to get out there and start seeing some fish the woodwind snorkeling tours it is the highest rated in the entire Caribbean we're on here with a guy who came in 1992 he said he's been snorkeling and diving for years the last 20 years he's never had any better experience than he's had on this Which tour kind of so awesome. he's back again 27 years later we're getting to our first stop we've got two stops today they've earned the star rating and we haven't even snorkeled yet they've got everything they've got prescription masks for Brexit Brexit's able to get his prescription from his glasses in his mask. They've got little things for the kids, little boat. The Hazy can stick her head over so she doesn't have to swim. The kids have wetsuits so they don't get burned. They've thought of so everything. Good. And we haven't even started yet. That's not even the snorkeling part. Now to get in the water, first snorkel stop, there's two. This one they say is kind of like the fun entry level. Easier. Get your feet wet, pun intended. And then we'll go do the bigger dive next. So guys, two snorkel adventures coming your way. Let's do it. Bone air. Yeah. Headed to our first drop spot. Are you ready? Fins on. Rexy, are you ready, bro? Yeah. You were born for this, dude. If Brexton could live underwater, he would. And he would sleep in the snorkel gear, too. Hazy, are you ready for this? Guys, this is what we're about to get in. How clear, how blue, how incredible is this water? Brex, are you ready, bro? Yes. We've arrived at the drop spot, getting ready to dive. Hazy, you look very ready. <laughs> Where is the beach? Ready, you ready for this? <laughs>
Love your life. Best one in my entire life. <laughs> Done. We're just gonna sit here and relax for a minute as they take us to our next spot. That was incredible. What did you think, Absolutely. like, of all snorkeling tours of your life? It was so cool to see so many turtles, and Miss Hazel was so brave and so just like I don't know. She just got in the water, wasn't afraid. She put her face under. They took her floaty off, took her off the noodle, let her just free dive, and she did awesome. Our guide, her name is Dee. She's absolutely incredible. She just had Hazy 100% the whole time, and she adjusted her mask when she needed it. She helped her breathe. She was phenomenal with Hazy. Had a great time. Even Rex just kept ditching the noodle. He wanted to just swim on his own. Crew wanted to dive like Rye Guy, and you guys, Rye Guy was a pure savage going deep down to get us the epic footage of the turtles and dive after some of the cool fish. Yeah. Oh, there he is right there. Rye Guy is feeling Whoa. like a dive boss. And Maddie said it was some of the best snorkeling of her life. Just loving every second of it out here, you guys. So we're on our way to the second stop. Super stoked to see what it has in store. That I said it's a very different type of a dive, very different snorkel. Just arriving at our second dive location right now. We've had some snacks, we've laid out in the sun, enjoyed some beautiful weather. You guys can see the cruise ship right behind me there. We're stopping in this little spot right here, I believe. It's a lot more shallow dive, they said. You gotta lay flat out above coral reef, see some different type of fish. I'm not sure if there's gonna be turtles here or not. We're super stoked for the second one. The kids can't wait to get back in the water already. They're loving the dive suits, they love breathing underwater, the fins, the whole bit. They are literally in heaven right now. We're gearing up, I think we're about to stop here. They send us off in groups, that way everybody's together with a guide, which I love, so our family Family makes up one group. We've got actually D. She runs this whole thing, and she is our guide. She's been the one hanging out with Hazy. Hazy. All right, guys, on the last one, my mask kept filling up on the nose with salt water, and it would drip into my throat while we were swimming, and it would just burn like crazy. Turns out this is enough facial hair to need some Vaseline or whatever this grease is that keeps the mask airtight, sealed on my face, so this should make it a little bit better. Just had to show you guys how cool that looks. We're getting on the deck right now, put on our fins, getting in the water. Let's go. Okay. Ready for round two, bro? Oh, yeah. Hazel, let's do this. <laughs> Three, two, one, Sandy. <laughs> Rex, it's already in there. Ready, Rex? Mom, you got your I'm water ready. panel. Are you ready? You Three. Got off our second stop. Raga, what did you think, bro? Oh my gosh, the coral was just like so cool. I liked how shallow it was. Just diving down is so fun. Raga is the boss master of the deep dive, you guys. He goes straight down. Even in this last one, he did like right out into the deep blue, like bottomless it ocean. Was so cool. It looks so rad, you guys. To see him do that, I'm just like, I can't believe. I, when I was your age, dude, I was not doing that kind of stuff. I can promise you. I was still doing the floaty, the noodle, if I ever went snorkeling. We have had some amazing snorkeling out here in Bonaire. They are now serving us up some delicious 
lunch. Check oh, us out, you guys. So good. Cooking this in the kitchen back there, serving it. They've been giving us drinks, snacks, everything that we need. We've been so well taken care of. This has been our favorite snorkeling adventure. Probably our favorite shore excursion of any kind we've ever done. Highly recommended. Woodwind snorkeling adventures. If you find yourself in Bonaire, you've got to check them out. Oh, right there. Yeah. No joke. They've earned the rating of best in the Caribbean. We're just sitting here back of the boat eating our lunch. Sweetie, how amazing. Is this real life? We're back, time to get off the boat. Yeah. Yep. Just stepping off the boat right now, wrapping up our snorkeling adventure. Time to go do some souvenir shopping. We are all done snorkeling. We went and picked up the kids a few souvenirs. Daisy picked a mermaid because she has been the absolute best mermaid today. Oh. We are getting back on the boat. We're gonna go get showered and clean up and maybe rest for like 10 minutes and go down to dinner tonight. Absolutely best excursion we could have ever this asked for. This has been a day straight out of a freaking storybook movie. I don't it know what. It was perfect. Perfection. We're exhausted. Hazy, I've never been more proud of her. Handled that snorkeling like a boss. She just did it in Hawaii. She was a little bit scared, but this time she just got in. Sweet D, she just helped her. Helped her put her face in. Showed her how to breathe, showed her how to do everything, and she, I was so proud of her. I was proud of all my kids, but especially, you know, Hazy and Brex, they're so little. For her to be able to do that, it just blew my mind. It's a great, great afternoon. One of the things we've missed the very most is being here in the dining hall. We've been having so much fun out on the islands, but we've been coming back too late to be here on time for our dinner. So we are so excited to be gathered together. <laughs> gathered here today. <laughs> for this amazing dinner. It is so fun. We may have ordered a couple of each. Entrees, starters, desserts. I don't know what you're talking you didn't about. Do Early on in the cruise, oh, we found Lord. this apple pie. Maddie oh, ordered this apple pie a la mode, so I decided to copy her and get one, and it has been amazing every time. Knocks it out of the park. So even if there's not a dessert that you like, although as you can see, we found a few that we like. You guys, it's all so good. <laughs> you know you can always go back to the apple pie, and you're gonna get something delicious. You know you are living the cruise life when you finish up a massive dinner with multiple desserts, and the next thing you do is get in a swimming suit for some late night hot tubbing. Not a good the idea. kids have been dying to do some night swimming. The adults are gonna go chill in the hot tub. They do have this fun hot tub that cuts out and over the outside of the ship, kind of looking down into the ocean. Not as cool at night, you really can't see anything. Tomorrow, you guys, a full day at sea. We are heading on our way to St. Martin. It's a bit north from here. We gotta head up to St. Martin. Got a lot of fun in store for you guys there, but tomorrow is gonna be an at sea day. So join us for that. Don't miss it. It's gonna be a good day. Come back. It's been fun watching these kids just grow out of their shells a little bit, become better swimmers, become better friends. And with that, we'll ABC! Welcome to the vlog. Oh, Maddie just opened the vlog, so you know it's gonna be big. You know what's gonna be up with you guys. We decided while well, we've got this at sea day, we're gonna be spending time floating through the middle of the ocean on this luxurious cruise ship. Why not give you guys a walking tour of what they have to offer here on the Freedom of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. What better place to start than right here in our own room with our luxury suite, everyone. Oh. oh. This is why I think they call either the junior or the mini suite. I can't ever remember what it is. This is one of the suites here on the ship, and it has proved to be perfect for us, you guys. It comes with some perks and some benefits. It's also just the right size for all that we need to do. Now we have, of course, three rooms on this ship. We've got the interior room for Maddie and the two older boys. We yep. just did that for peace of mind, knowing that they were without a balcony. Sorry, Maddie, that you got locked in the dungeon with Stop them. It. <laughs> but she's in charge of them, and they're safely on the interior. We put Dan and Shell in a balcony room just down the hall, and then of course, Mom and I here with the two little ones to keep an eye on them in the junior suite. Let me give you guys a quick tour of the suite because it is actually much bigger and more spacious than I thought it would be. If you've ever cruised before, you're really not accustomed to having any walking around room, sitting room, anything like that.
that. So when we came in, we were ultra impressed with the size of the accommodations. This is actually a couch that folds out to a bed. So we've got Brex and Hazy sleeping right here. Every morning when they wake up, they pull back these shades. They look straight out the balcony at either a port or the ocean. It's the most incredible way to wake up. Mom and I are on this big king size bed. It's been great to sleep in. We've got a chair here with a little lounge area. I've got all of my computer stuff, batteries, everything charging over there, all the vlog gear over here in this corner. And then we just have all this additional space. You guys, we've got a desk where I've been editing at nights, a TV. We've got a fridge down in here. Lots of drawer space, closet space, things that we weren't even expecting. Yeah, check out this closet. Guys, if you remember when we did our packing video, we talked about how to maximize the minimal amount of space in a cruise ship. We were talking about hanging things on the back of doors, finding ways to shove stuff underneath beds. Guys, this one comes with a full-blown walk-in closet. We've got stuff hung up, racks and racks of clothes space over there. I mean, right guys, inside of it, look at that. I mean, this is a good, decent sized closet. So this has been perfect for our family. We've even got Mindy's dirty clothes hampers that she brought for everybody here in the corner. Formal night again tonight, guys. So I've got my rented tux up there. They gave me two suits so that I wear one on each night. That was pretty cool, I thought. And now guys, the other thing we talked about that is a very tight situation on a cruise ship is the bathroom. There's just yeah. not really a lot of room to work with. Well, guess what, you guys? Psych. Not the case when you got the junior suite here. This has got ample counter space to put out mom's toiletries, dad's under here. Mom's actually been using this. I don't know how it works. She's filled this thing up as soon as we got in here with all of our sun lotions. We've got a whole other side to work with over there. Guys, I'm standing in the bathroom vlogging, no problem. Toilet, I'm sure everybody wants to see that. Tub, right here. Big old tub to take a deep bath in tub if you want. In a or a big old shower. These guys have like a, almost like a body pod that's just wide enough for your shoulders that has I this rotating. Honestly, I've been liking it. I think it's just fun to be a little bit crammed with the thing that you can just go like this. I think <laughs> See, it's See, and I remember cruises at your age, dude, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. When you get a little bit older, you're like, I can't fit in here. So this is perfect for me and mom. It's been great, you guys. Oh, we almost forgot the balcony. We gotta show them the balcony. Oh. That's a huge part of it. Uh <laughs> you guys, look at this gigantic balcony. Maddie is here chilling on the balcony. We've got end to end right here, you guys, with two layout chairs, a little table, and two sitting chairs. The only balcony I've ever had before is just enough for the two sitting chairs. Maybe a table if you're lucky. A lot of times you can just stand up, but we have had breakfast out here. We had it on Minnie's birthday. And you just sit here and you look out over the big, beautiful blue ocean, you guys. Look at this. I mean, it's ocean as far as you can see. You can see down the cruise ship that way. And of course, where you're headed down this way as you sail across the Caribbean Sea. This is amazing, you guys. Big size balcony here. Plenty of room for everybody to hang out and party. If I'm being honest, we have not used it very much because it does terrify us to have the kids out here. So they're only out here one at a time with an adult. Otherwise, the super big heavy door is slammed shut and locked because we are just super freaked out about anybody falling off the edge. So <laughs> it's, it's kind of nice to be out here with Maddie and actually enjoy it. Lean over, look over, take in the beauty, speaking of beauty, and just enjoy the sights out here and the sounds. I mean, listen, I'll shut up for a second. That's rare. Listen to this. I mean, guys, that's all night. That's like a sound machine. That's a built-in sound machine into your balcony. With the stateroom, the suite taken care of, it's on to the next part of our tour. Let's go see what this cruise ship has to offer. and there's unlimited food. Perfect for me. Definitely a big part of the cruise life is the food. They have a lot of restaurants. They have pay restaurants. This is called the Windjammer Cafe. It's where we spend most of our meals, breakfast and lunch. When we're on the ship, we've been enjoying some amazing meals off the ship as we go to the restaurants, getting the local cuisine. But you can just rock up, grab anything you want, anytime you want. We'll show you one of our favorite anytime. places coming up next where you can get pizza on the promenade literally oh, yeah. until 3 a.m. Oh, dude, are those wings? They change the meals up all the time too, so it's always something different. Ample ocean view seating as you can see. Tons of windows. The entire thing is windows where you can sit and eat a meal with a view of the ocean everywhere around you. No cruise would be complete without a ton of food, buffet style. This is kind of the main cafe, the main dining area where you come and get stuff. It's always available. They do have, like I said, specialty dining restaurants. We're gonna bring you over to the dining hall. This is my main man right here, greet you every day. Always singing, always dancing, always bringing up that energy, up that vibe. They do have, like I said, specialty dining that you can pay a little extra for, and then you have your main dining hall where you have your meals each night. Let's go check that one out. Definitely, we are not in the appropriate attire <laughs> to be in this dining hall, but this is the dining hall that we eat at each night. Our table is right here. This is our table where the whole family okay. gathers. Normally, if you come in smaller parties, you get paired up with other people who are cruising. It's kind of fun to make friends. It's usually people from other countries, so it's really fun to talk to them and learn about them and their cultures, and you get to know your waiter. It's a lot of fun. I've loved that we get the whole table, though, because it's just our family every night, and it's this beautiful setting, you guys. I mean, look at where we're eating. Where could you find a restaurant like this on land? I can't think of a restaurant that would be this nice, and here it is floating in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Definitely food, a huge huge part of the cruising process. But what's the other big part of the cruising process? What cruise tour would be complete without a stop at the swimming pool? The 
this cruise ship comes with I think three or four pools. Two of them are just kind of like these standing pools. Everyone just kind of stands in them. Then they have an adult pool for 16 and older. It's a little more chill. Then of course the fun zone, the H2O zone, where they've got a splash pad, all of these fun bright colored water fixtures. There's hot tubs all over the place, including two hot tubs that look over the ocean, literally hang over the ocean. And guys, it wouldn't be a cruise ship without a dance deck for some dance parties in the middle of the pools. They've got fun contests going on throughout the day, activities, music playing, a DJ, live band, everything that you could want in outdoor fun as you're soaking up some sun and cooling off in these fun pools. We've been absolutely loving having this private row of chairs available every day to us from staying in that suite. It's been a really awesome benefit as you come out and fight these crowds for some of these other seats. There's so many people out here, it's very hard to find a seat. We've got these ones reserved every day for us. The kids are loving it. In addition to swimming, there are other awesome outdoor recreational activities you can take part in. There's the rock climbing wall behind me, as you can see. Super rad, climb out to the top, look out over the ocean. You've got a basketball court here being used for volleyball at the moment. One of our favorite things though is the flow rider on the very back of the ship. We were able to do that on our first or second day, second day, just boogie board style. We might try and get the surfboards out. They've also got a mini golf course up here. You got mini golf here. Where else can you mini golf with a view of the ocean like that? And then of course you guys, everywhere you walk around the edges, it's just a 360 degree view of the ocean of beauty. We've caught so many gorgeous, perfect sunsets from the back of the ship here, just right off this railing. Hard to beat views like this. I don't know where else you can get this kind of a view of the ocean other than to sail out into the middle of it. Which we did. That's some of the outside fun, fun in the sun. Let's head inside, show you some of the stuff that they have to offer in the ship because it's incredible. Let's do it. Throughout the ships, they have these fun kids clubs and they're broken into different age groups so the kids are playing with kids their own age. They can make friends, they have fun activities to do. We haven't sent our kids to one yet because first of all, we haven't been on the ship that much. We're usually at port and experiencing some island fun. But also, I just have a hard time dropping the kids off and not being with them, making memories with them, swimming with them, playing with them. But sometimes I do think that they might have more fun in these places where they've got games and other friends and activities that are geared more towards them versus doing what we want. Being stuck in a pool where the lifeguards keep telling them they can't splash. Something that may be worth checking out we never have we just like to be together as a family and not split up but they do have that available if it's something that you're interested in Telling you that we're gonna give you a walking tour of the ship is kind of like saying we're gonna give you a tour of a city. I mean, this is the size of a small city. So I'm sure there's gonna be a few things, probably plenty of things that we miss or don't see. But what we're doing is we're highlighting some of the things that we've enjoyed, that we've had the most fun at, or we've walked by and gone, wow, that's kind of unique, that's kind of cool. Right now, we're in the middle of what's called the promenade. This is actually probably one of our favorite places because of the pizza joint back here and the soda machine, and it's hopping all night. We're gonna show you more of this later tonight with the whole family. Right now, we're trying to find, they have an ice skating rink that we haven't even seen yet. They have a theater that we haven't seen in these shows in yet there's so oh wait this is like the upper deck to that because there's the theater down there so many elevators staircases things that you would not associate with the inside of a ship floating on the ocean so right now working our way navigating weaving around trying to find some more fun things to bring you guys but these ships are massive literally the size of floating cities with 4,000 plus people on them I mean I know cities in Utah they don't have that many people in their population so <laughs> definitely city size 
We just came through the casino to get to the ice skating rink. Now gambling is legal on international waters. So once you get to a port, if gambling is not legal, they shut the casino down. But when you're at sea, it is legal because you're on international waters. Guys, this place comes complete with an ice skating rink where you can actually get out on the ice and use it. So just for fun, recreationally, bring the kids out, just some ice skating. Then they also host ice skating shows in the evenings. Very cool, fun, like Disney on Ice style ice skating shows. As we head down to this theater right here, you may recognize these steps. These are the steps that I famously tripped down on formal night, mom's birthday. The funny story behind that is we obviously had pre-planned the whole thing out, had the whole series of shots lined up, and then I said I'm gonna trip on like the second or third stair, and then I'll just eat it, and then have us fall out of frame. Anyways, the whole thing's set up, and you'll see the lady behind us, if you go back and watch that video, she full on believes it, she gasps and grabs her mouth. You just could not believe it, and then somebody else is like, Oh, I hope you got it on video. Oh, I hope you got that on video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it was a pretty epic fall, pretty epic fail, and I think I sold it because a lot of people thought I really ate it down these stairs. I would say so. I wish you actually did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this is their theater where they do plays, shows, comedy, magic, all kinds of things. It's this awesome arena. I'm gonna see if I can open this door, give you guys a shot of the inside. We haven't had a chance to catch any plays here yet, but it's something that mom really wants to do if we get the chance. This is a full blown, like, Broadway style show theater. Look how massive this thing is. This is inside of a crew ship still blows my mind that they can put these things on the water you can see everything from plays to magicians comedians they play fun game shows all kinds of different shows are hosted up here music song dance the whole bit all done here in this theater on the cruise ship One of our other favorite things around the cruise ship here are these drink machines. Now you get this drink cup, you gotta pay for that. There's actually a chip inside of it that reads here on the cup holder before you can order any drinks up, before you can get anything. And then what else is interesting is once you've filled it up to the number of ounces that would be in one cup full, you can't fill up again for like 30 seconds. That way you can't just be constantly refilling your drinks and handing them off to people. But it's unlimited refills as long as you're here on the ship until your cruise is over. We've been making a lot of use out of this, huh? We talked to you about the restaurants, the food, the pizza, all of the fun things you can get, ice cream pools, Anytime you want, could we do? How about that pizza, bro? Did you have to pay for that? Mm -mm. Can you get it any time of day? You can get it any time of day. Me and Rye got one night. We were just up there, and then we came back down, got a slice of pizza, went up to our room, ate it. That's cruise life, baby. All day long, huh? <laughs> and then that brings us to, first of all, a little bit fancier attire because tonight is the last formal night on the ship. But one of the favorite places here, and one of the hottest hangout spots, is the oh, promenade you the see behind us. The home of all you can eat pizza, shopping, soda, sodas, all. Fun. And it's it feels promenade. like the road to everything is through the promenade. Like yeah. you need to get somewhere, you go to deck five, you go through the promenade to get there. So a lot of fun here on the promenade, guys. This is where we're gonna wrap up our cruise tour as elevators pass us on either side. This place is so awesome. If you it's haven't beautiful. cruised before, you've gotta try it, you guys. It is so much fun. I've received a lot of messages from people being like, I've never done a cruise, but you guys have inspired me to want to try one. They're amazing. Absolutely incredible. Your food's taken care of, your transportation, your entertainment, there's so much Lodging, to do. All, everything is all in one price. You guys check it out. Thanks so much for being with us today. Oh We've had such a blast. Thanks for hanging with us today. We've had a lot of fun. And a huge thanks to Dad. He spent a majority of his day showing you guys around the boat. So we thought it'd be fun to show you guys what cruise ships are all about. I do say, as we've been in port and seen other cruise ships, there are definitely some things that we want to try on our next cruise. Some other cruise lines we've got our eyes on. Yes. Apparently, they've got them with water slides these days. They've got roller, roller coasters, coasters on them. There's all kinds of stuff to be had out there in the cruise world. So as you're picking, find the thing that suits you guys best and go with it. We love you guys. And let's save right here inside the cruise ship above the promenade. One, two, three. ABC. Hello and good morning from. Wait, that's my line. Sorry, that's my line. Hello and good morning from. St. Martin! Martin. <laughs> Guys, it's gonna be a party today. We're in St. Martin, one of our favorite places. Mindy and I have been here on a cruise before. 12 years ago. 12 years ago. We're gonna try and dig up that picture. It's probably black and white. It's probably on some old printed paper. But if we can I'm not find as old it, as you. we're here for some amazing fun in the sun. We're gonna be at the beach all day. We're gonna go to the infamous, famous Maho, Maho beach, beach, where the planes fly in, they land right over your head. Then we're gonna go soak up some sun on a white sand beach, do some sand on paddle boarding, some snorkeling. It's gonna be a full day of it's adventure awesome. here in St. Martin. Come with us, it's a beautiful place, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. Are you guys ready for some fun? Oh yeah! yeah. Let's go baby! Woo.
we have arrived at the famous Maho Beach. Right oh behind us gosh. is some of the bluest water you'll see, but what makes this beach special and spectacular is that airplanes will be flying right over our heads. They get so close, you feel like you can reach up and touch them. Airport runway is right over this fence right here. They take off the land just over your head, so we brought the family here. We're gonna hang out for an hour. It's not the best beach to hang out at. There's not a ton of sand to work with. It's mostly rocks down the coastline here. But we're waiting for some airplanes. We wanna see some big ones, and we wanna get some sick shots and sick pits. I think the kids are gonna go nuts when they see it for the first time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I love this beach already. We've been out here for a few minutes, seen a couple planes come in, seen a couple take off. Now we're just riding the waves out here at Maho Beach. How beautiful is this, Hazy? Yeah, I'm so beautiful. <laughs> You're so beautiful. We got some big waves for the kids here. It's kind of fun. It crashes you down on rocks and sand, which is not fun. The kids are loving it. Rex is loving it, swimming like a fish. Here comes a big wave, Hazy. Here comes a big wave. Getting ready for the blast, guys. We're in the blast zone right now. Mom's hunkering down, protecting her baby eggs. Daniel is sacrificing his life for the footage. Make sure you watch it, Dan and Shell. Check them out. If he dies, you're gonna see the footage there. You guys good? Everybody good? I'm holding on. Kermit, are you ready, bro? You look like you're not even worried. Guys, if we die, at least we died in paradise. Here we go. Fire it up, fire it up. Here we go. with sand all over. However, very epic, very awesome. Yeah! Here comes another one right here. Permission to buzz the tower. There are no rules here. <laughs> Guys, it just, we must have just hit a plane party because one took off, one just landed. We got one in the distance. That was insane. That was awesome. And guys, honestly, it wasn't that big. I mean, they have much bigger ones that will blow you into the ocean. That was just big enough to enjoy, have some fun, feel the jet wash, get sand whipped all over my body. However, completely worth the thrill. Once in a lifetime experience. nailed the shot that's a sick selfie check it out this is how we make on my instagram also shell has been rocking some sick Woo! pics of the full family you can also find those on our instagram uh, guys yeah, this check is how out we make insta stories they're incredible just go over to instagram we're flooding it right now with epicness <laughs> We have decided to stay for one more plane landing. There's a scheduled plane landing coming up in four minutes. So we're gonna do one more, then head off to our next beach. We're gonna go to the Great Beach or something like that. Tons of white sand, overlooks the cruise ship, beautiful blue waters. We're gonna do some sand up paddle boarding, some snorkeling. We want one last plane to land right over our heads here at Maho Beach. Such a rare and unique experience to be able to do this. Such a cool opportunity. Something that me and mom did 12 years ago, we wanted to share with the kids so badly. Has it been as cool as I hyped it up to be right, guys? Yes, definitely. So plane landing coming in about three minutes. You should be like floating like that and then I just get a shot of a plane coming over, you just show up. <laughs> Crossing our fingers that this one is going to be a big one. We've seen some pretty fun sized ones. The biggest one was the one that took off and almost blew us back into the ocean. But we're hoping we get a big one to come over our heads and finish things off here. Fingers crossed, T minus. Three minutes and counting. Hazy, are you ready?
We just barely finished up at Maho Beach. That was really fun. That's more of an experience than like laying out on the beach type of feel. So we came now to Great Beach. We are looking for some food and then we we're gonna look to be sitting on the beach a little bit more and playing. It's gonna be a fun, but you guys, this place is absolutely beautiful. Although I do see a storm coming in. Hoping that's not too threatening. So the forecast does call for some pretty serious rain. We ran into a couple that's staying here on the island. They said it's been raining every single day. Today's the first day that it hasn't been raining, but you can see the clouds coming in. It's getting darker, getting windier. We found a joint though. Mindy's been craving Mexican this whole time. Check this out. Beachfront, beachside, crazy habanero. I think this is where we're gonna be eating right here. You guys can see a storm coming in, which I'm mostly bummed about because I finally got the drone back, but I don't dare take it up in this. Okay. Did you scare you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Okay, okay. Just finished up lunch. It was fantastic, guys. Did you enjoy your lunch? Yes. Oh, yes. I got three tacos that were delicious. They're hard shell beef, cheese, and lettuce. Oh, man. That sounds like heaven. Too. You guys crushed their tacos. Mom's back paying right now. We're trying to round up some fun rentals, either snorkels, paddle boards. You guys saw as we went into the restaurant, a storm was rolling in. It started to rain, started blowing umbrellas all over the place. It looks like it may have passed for the most part, so we're hoping we can still get in some fun at the beach here, looking for something fun to do. So far in this bay, all they really offer is jet skis, which we've done. We did that in Aruba. If you missed that, go check that out. We loved it. We just want a little bit of a variety. We wanted to do some paddle boarding, something a little more chill today. Walking along the boardwalk here, seeing what they have to offer. So far right now, it looks like the storm has passed by. We are gonna get a little bit of sun and we're gonna be able to get out there in this water and wrap our time up here in the Caribbean because this is our last well I guess we actually will be in Puerto Rico which is technically still in the Caribbean Sea for two more days but our last port of call here on this cruise wrapping it up right right here in St. Martin you guys look at this beauty look at this We found an activity, we found something fun to do. We're gonna get pulled behind a jet ski on a banana boat. Does that sound Woo! fun, dude? <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this. Maybe when I was a kid at Bear Lake or something, but there's a long yellow banana. We're gonna load up four or five of us on it. They're gonna pull us around this bay on a jet ski. Should be a lot of fun. Let's tug this camera away, get out the GoPro, and get out there, baby. Dad, what happens if you fly off? Will they come and get you? No, you're there. You swim back to the cruise ship. No. Bye. Oh! Woo! Yeah, baby! Banana boat time! Let's go, baby, let's go! Caribbean living, man! I don't know if that's right, but I'm loving it! Hey, guys, guys. <laughs> your face <laughs> that's how you get off a banana boat people yeah my man Woo! you guys good you rode a jet ski yes, oh my goodness <laughs> Matt, are you good yeah. 
I mean, he just ripped that out from under us. That was awesome. Woo! I was not expecting that. We're finishing yeah. up our day here. Was that cool? Did you guys like the banana? Yes, it was way fun. So we're finishing things up here in, uh, I think it's Great Beach or something like that. The cruise yeah, ship is just beach. right over there. Great so once beach. we're done, is it Great Beach? Mm -hmm. It great. is a Great Beach, huh? We'll just take a little water taxi over and get back on the cruise ship, winding things down here on beautiful St. Martin with a dip in the Caribbean Sea. Hi, guy. How are you feeling after you got dumped off that banana? Were you expecting that? No. Nope. When you I thought it was lift, done. I thought you were gonna, like, he was gonna turn and then we'd fly off the weight. Yeah. Uh, I just went literally. <gasps> he just pulled it out from under us. All of our faces smacked into the banana. I mean, that was a crazy. I just blew up and I wanted to be the last person on, but that was just way too hard because I was standing on the side. <laughs> Dude, I, I was smashed just, my face in I the video. You don't even really? see. All of a sudden, I'm just smashed into the banana and then we're in the water and he's gone. The banana's gone. That was a crazy finish. <laughs> Beach, so I'm getting in the water first time here. Where are we? St. Martin. We're on St. Martin. It's gotta be in every single oh, yeah. body of water. Looking for seashells? Yeah, I'm looking for seashells, but I found a red. Kind of. Uh, that's wood. I found a shark. I found a shark. Are you the shark? <laughs> Show me your collection. What did you end up with? I ended up with these two. Dude, we were gonna do some souvenir shopping, but you just swam to the bottom of the ocean to get your own souvenirs. And we'll go free. get you some too. For free. Hey, you could sell those. Put them on a bracelet or a necklace, dude, and say these are from St. Martin in the Caribbean Sea. 100 bucks each. Check out the black smoke coming out. Wait, shark in the water. Shark. Oh, you took the goggles off. And <laughs> I was worried about a shark. Oh my gosh, you legit, like, you <laughs> fell for the shark and you are the shark. Okay. And sharks are gullible. Okay. Shark in the water, shark. <laughs> Guys, look at the black smoke, shark in the water. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's, That's pretty scary though, people. Here's your new profile pic right there, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise ship off in the distance. We're winding down. Our swimming oh, gear. Yeah! Epic beach. <laughs> hey Z, have you had a good time? Yeah. But guess what? Even though the cruise is over and we get off in Puerto Rico tomorrow, we get to stay in Puerto Rico and swim at the beaches in Puerto Rico, won't you? We're in a hotel. In Puerto Rico. Cruise life. Same cruise life. His life. Hey, this cruise life. This cruise life. Or that cruise life. Cruise life. Cruise life. Cruise life. Cruise life. They're one in the same. <laughs> Whoa, Rexy Doodle, this is your haul, bro. These, all you found, all these seashells at the bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. You taking those home, dude? Dude, and those goggles had to have helped. You haven't freaking told me. Yet. Look at those collections, dude. You could run a seashell bank. Dude, Rock Guy, look at this one, dude. I wonder if you can see the detail on the GoPro, but that is insane, dude. Look at that collection. You keep it, because I'll probably lose it. You hear the ocean? Hold on. I can hear it, because we're at it. Oh, baby. Gotcha. Gosh, that's my wife, everybody! Woo! 
wrapped up our time here at the Great Beach, and it was great. We had a fun time. A little bit of swimming, a little bit of banana boating, a little bit of wave running for Hazy, and now we're on the hunt for some souvenirs before the ship takes off. It actually leaves in like an hour, so we gotta get over to that pretty quickly here. But there's always time for souvenirs. Last port of call, our last stop here on the cruise. Thankfully, we are extending a little bit more in Puerto Rico. Kind of sad to see it be over. Fun last stop, but I feel like we have crushed it at every port, maximized everything today. We got great weather for Maho Beach. We saw a bunch of fun planes come in. Then when the wind and rain started, we were able to eat at a restaurant. Delicious food indoors. Sun came out, came out, crushed it here at this beach. Perfect day here in St. Martin. As we're going through here, seeing a lot of hurricane damage from about two years ago. A big hurricane came through here. Still feeling the effects of that. Actually, interestingly enough, another one's headed this way on Monday. That's what these little storms this week of rain has been all about. Is another one's coming Monday. Much smaller, not as severe, but dude, seeing all those sunken ships and busted buildings, that's pretty surreal, huh? Yeah, I mean, when my dad said it, I got scared. But I it we'll be out of here. I hope it's not going to Puerto Rico. I should check the weather. I don't know. Yeah. On the ship now just waiting to disembark we're running a few minutes later because they just announced a medical emergency someone is being taken off the ship is gonna have to stay here and once they're off the ship we're gonna leave but whatever their medical condition or issue is it can't be taken care of or wait until tomorrow it can't be taken care of on the ship so an ambulance just arrived here dockside they're gonna unload that passenger and then we're gonna take up anchor and we're gonna head off it's a mommy having a baby in her tummy. We don't know, but that's oh my gosh, that would be the cutest thing ever. To be born in St. Martin off of a cruise? I don't know. Probably if you're about to give birth, you wouldn't come on a cruise, but we'll see. They should be getting off here in a minute. So they successfully got the woman loaded onto the ambulance. It looked like maybe she had somebody traveling with her. They got off, they were able to locate their bags, got their bags off the ship, loaded them into the ambulance and they took off. We don't know the severity, what the cause was, anything. We hope that they're very well taken care of. The ship is now setting sail. They pulled up anchor, we're ready to take off and hopefully they're gonna be okay, obviously. They take these kind of things very seriously. If it was serious enough to get them off the ship into a hospital, we just hope that everything's gonna be okay with them. All right, guys, as we put St. Martin in our rear view, literally right now, we are leaving our last port of call, headed back to Puerto Rico, and the cruise has come to an end. Yes, but our vacation has not come to an end. We are going to spend a few days in Puerto Rico and enjoy our time there and just take it slow. Which, guys, I was very excited when we got there and we arrived in Puerto Rico. I thought, no, I want more time here. I just love the culture, the it vibe, the feeling nice. is beautiful. So I'm glad we got a couple days to hang out there still. But our bags need to be packed and in the hallway tonight. So we've got to pack up, literally. Be so much work. And get off the ship in the morning. We part ways with Dan and Shell. They're going to California for family reunion. We're going to stay in Puerto Rico for a few days. Thank you for joining us on this cruise. Make sure you stick around, subscribe. We love you so much. Thanks for being the best part of our day and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Bye. Getting off the cruise ship right now. Just wanted to show you and document this. It's kind of hilarious. Sometimes in the vlog life, this is what you got to do. I'm walking around with my laptop open because the vlog hasn't finished uploading. I'm trying to tether off of Daniel's phone, my phone, a little bit of the Wi-Fi from the ship. Anything I can do to get this vlog uploaded to you guys. Trying to do an Insta story, but it's not working. Oh so, guys. Nothing's working. We're trying to get these things out to you guys. But hello, good morning. Hello, Welcome good morning. from Puerto Rico. We are here. We're getting off the ship right now. Full family taking off. Guys, we're saying goodbye to these guys today. <laughs> I mean, we're still. <laughs> I think they're probably thrilled. We are here in Puerto Rico, <laughs> just literally walking around with an open laptop. Daniel's letting me use his service off of his phone. We're gonna get this vlog up for you guys. That's what we do. That's the vlog life. 76%, guys. 76%. It's gonna get there.
This is where you come after the cruise. Just a giant warehouse of baggage. These guys help us find our bags. Right guy says he sees ours. Right guy, you see ours? Sir, excuse me. That's not allowed to do in this right here. This is our guy, Josue, right here. He's rocking every single one of our bags, you guys. Look at this. That's my man right there. He's got every bag we've got. So they have these port collars, is I think what they called it. Anyways, they load up all your bags, carry them out to a taxi for you, and then you actually skip a ton of the customs line, so definitely worth it. Plus, he does all the heavy lifting. Gotta say it's worth it. Do you say adios? Hey, tell him gracias for taking our bags. Gracias! So we're waiting for a taxi now. One of the things everywhere we go is that there's nine of us plus a ton of bags, so it's a full-size van anytime we get a taxi cab. Yeah, and coming out of customs, like, they offered to help us. I was like, no, it's okay. We'll just take care of it. And Brandon's looking at me like, Mindy, come on. Let him so do it. Paid this guy, put all of our suitcases on this thing, and took us right he out He loads door. up like nine bags on this giant carrier, walks us straight out, skips the whole line. It was fantastic. When you're a group this big, sometimes you gotta do gotta that. Do you gotta it. do that. So we're getting in a full size van, headed into our hotel right now. Get to hang with Dan and Shell for a little bit longer. Their flight doesn't leave know, for a few so hours. Excited. Maybe grab some breakfast together, check out the hotel, and finish this we upload haven't for you had guys. Enough food, so we probably should eat. <laughs> Time to eat. <laughs> Just got to our hotel here, we're at the Marriott, we're dropping our bags, we're gonna go have some fun here in Puerto Rico. It's only 9 a.m. and Shell says she wants a burger and fries. So I think, <laughs> so I think life, baby. we're life. on that cruise schedule right now, you guys, where you can get a burger at 3 a.m. This guy's gonna help us out. Thank you, my man, appreciate thank you, man. that. I appreciate too. Hey, thank you, have a good one. Dropping bags off here, we're gonna ease up our load here. Let's drop off backpacks too, let's set them on this if you want to. And then we'll be checking in here in a little bit. It's got an amazing beach, an amazing pool, but right now, we're gonna go experience Puerto Rico, baby. <laughs> guys, we just got into our room, it was ready early. This is our walkout view, right guys? We're gonna be here for the next few days. What? We're gonna be at that water slide, playing in these fountains, that beach. They've got waves like you guys like, a little bit of wave action. The pool right there. I mean, this view is spectacular. Yeah, this is can awesome. I, giant, yeah. Can I, I guess this will do. <laughs> I can't even say that seriously, this is incredible. This is insane. We got so excited about the view, we didn't get to show you the room, guys. So we've got two of these rooms adjoining. They're actually like really cool modern looking, I feel yeah. like. Like that's actually pretty rad. This room's not ready yet. Once it is, we'll open this up. Kids are in there. Mom, dad, and Maddie in here. And we can Check just kind of open. Bathroom. bathroom, is that actually, oh my gosh. This is actually like a pretty cool techie. We got the little shower wand in there. Brexton's dancing in the mirror. You guys, love it, love it. Nice to be back where we've got some normal power outlets, USB ports, everything. The upload is screaming on this Wi-Fi. It's gonna get out to you guys. It's already at 90%. We're gonna go grab a bite. This is gonna finish up. And Kribby Doo, we will be out there today. That beach, that pool. <laughs> So we're not wandering far from the room, headed down here, gonna grab some brunch right here in the hotel. Spectacular ocean view out there. Everywhere we look, fantastic views. Oh, amazing, thank you so much. Guys, look at where we're eating our first meal in Puerto Rico. I think this is the sign of an amazing trip. The ocean right there. I mean, I'm mind blown, you guys. Oh, the ocean. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna wanna leave in three days, guys. We're gonna wanna stay even longer. Just finish up with the delicious breakfast Oceanside. The pool is calling our name. We're gonna go back to the room, change up. We gotta get in this pool. That's why we booked this hotel in particular because the kids are gonna love the pool. The ocean's right there off to the side of it. You guys, you gotta stay here, okay? Casey does not want Daniel to leave. You gotta stay here, okay? You want me to leave. Oh. you do you not want thing. Daniel to leave. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Good Oh. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Bye. Bye. Safe Bye. travels. Oh boy. Okay, another hug. I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank A -B -C you. See ya. Oh. <laughs> A B C ya. Bye. See you guys. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Love bye. You. bye. Bye. And cut camera. Later, bro. Oh.
come out into this. Look at this. Waterfalls. Oh, we, that guy. we got waterfalls. We got fountains shooting water out. Dude, I could see us hanging out here for a few days and never getting tired of this, you guys. This is so cool. You did that by yourself! <laughs> 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 I feel a little bit bad because dad is out there with all the kids at the pool. I feel terrible because I don't have the energy to do that. And I can't even imagine that he does. I am not back here relaxing like some. Hey. <laughs> she should be doing that. I brought along these laundry bags. I had one in my room and one in the kids' room. We have so much laundry. I'm having to do all that wash, which actually I think my wash is about up right now. They have a laundry mat downstairs. I'm mostly doing it because we're not going to be home for technically until really, really late Tuesday night, and I won't get to laundry until Wednesday. I just don't want those clothes sitting and smelling and just... So I am washing those. I just came out here to check. I'm watching Brandon at the pool with the kids, and they are so cute. It's just like a dream out here. <laughs> The ocean is literally warmer than the pool. This is perfection. Oh, drops off there, drops off. You being this excited about these waves makes it all worth this day. I love it. As the kids love the waves that they call curlers when it curls over. They love that. Still shallow, that's why it's brown right here because it's so shallow. Oh. <laughs> Where did we get curled? Here we go. Storm, you guys it's coming in hard and fast right now the whole pool is running for cover winds blowing stuff everywhere we're gathering our stuff the fun thing is we can go watch it from our balcony right up there and we can have cover but still watch the fun storm should we go back up to our room i'll get that stuff buddy thank you then as quick as we got back to our room to watch the storm it's completely gone look at that blue skies no wind and everyone back at the pool we're gonna love this place that was just a little taste of the fun at the pool out there. That's going to be all day tomorrow. We're going to be hanging out at the pool, hanging out at the beach. We've got nothing but good time, sunshine, adventure ahead here in Puerto Rico. But right now, we're going to dial things back a little bit, take a little break, kind of wind down, chill out. Because we can. Because we've got these nice adjoining rooms. We've got nice air conditioning. We've got Wi-Fi again. We've got this incredible view right out of our window. So we're just going to slow it down just a little bit. Tonight, we'll do some shopping, get some fun dinner, see what this town has to offer. Finish off day one in Puerto Rico. Como un jefe. <laughs> I think that's like a boss in Spanish, I don't know. Two hours later. All right, you guys, I fibbed a little. I told you that we were gonna rest and just take it easy. But we don't know how to do that. That's not how you bing them. Well, this is my version of taking it So I took the three boys out to the ocean, and we've been boogie boarding like freaking savages out there, just getting shrek by waves. It was so much fun. Shrek. Meanwhile, yeah, I think that's the thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, mom has done all of the laundry from the cruise. Like, look at this. What are you doing? All of the laundry. Washed, dried, sorted, folded. And you should see the closet. All the clothes are hanging. Now that's how you bing them, guys. Tearing it up, out at the beach, doing the laundry here. Now I don't have to do this when I get home except for the clothes that we wore today and tomorrow here in Puerto Rico. Fantastic, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get showered up, get dressed, and head out for some fun in Puerto Rico, out on the town, getting some food, getting some shopping done maybe, and just seeing what this beautiful place has to offer. You should find a good place to eat. intimidated by the menu because I didn't know what any of it meant, but this looks good. We wanted an authentic Puerto Rican experience. We came to Orozco's. It was recommended by the guy at the hotel. He said, if you want food, there's a lot of restaurants, but if you want to go authentic, you want to go Puerto Rican, you go to Orozco's. So we came here as we got some of the house specialties here. We got some really good stuff. We're not sure if we're saying these guys, but I think this is mofongo. It's smashed plantains that they put into like this edible cup bowl type thing. I got lobster and shrimp in this thing. Kirby got one as well with steak and he is loving it. Oh my gosh, guys, getting the full-blown authentic Puerto Rican experience here today, including Rexy Doodle in a fedora hat. <laughs> <laughs> A 
after a fantastic meal, we have come to Old San Juan. This place is just dripping in culture, the colorful buildings, the entire architecture. It is so awesome, you guys. We're going to the Choco Bar right now. Highly recommended from J House Vlogs. If you guys don't watch them, go check them out. They live here in Puerto Rico. We asked them what are the places to go. They recommended the Choco Bar for some fun chocolate. We're gonna get some churros, desserts, and just have the sun set behind us here in Old San Juan. Soak up our last few minutes of our first day. It's been a perfect day. Wrapping up our first day here in Puerto Rico in Old San Juan at the Rotunda. I'm not really sure a lot of people hanging out here. Must be like a place to hang out, but it's been a beautiful a place to be tonight. Beautiful, beautiful place, you guys. We are loving it. Tomorrow we've got the full day open. We're thinking of some stand-up paddleboarding out in the ocean, maybe. I don't know what else. We have no idea. We're just gonna just enjoy some it. Fun in the sun, because we haven't had enough of that lately, right? Soak up some more <laughs> culture, guys. Puerto Rico is a beautiful, beautiful place. We are loving it here. Thank you guys for being a part of our journey, of our vacation, of our cruise, and now our time here in San Juan. Absolutely loving every minute of it. It's been so much fun, you guys. Thanks for hanging with us today. Make sure to subscribe down below and turn on that bell so you know when we upload. We will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. ABC, ya. Hello and good morning, everyone. Our last day, full day, full here in Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Last Rico. day of vacation. Tomorrow we go home, you guys. We fly home tomorrow. <laughs> Come I gotta to say end. though guys, I think the kids are pretty worn down on vacation. I know mommy is. I could probably go another three weeks, but we are sunned out, funned out, but we're starting today off in a very fun and delicious way. We got this recommendation of going to this place called Cabanas from a subscriber. She was on our cruise boat. She actually ended up staying at our same hotel. We ran into her several times. She recommended this place for breakfast. So we are headed in there. We've heard they have great acai bowls. We're just heading back to the hotel now. I gotta say, one of my favorite things is just being out here, just being in Puerto Rico. Last night, I just wanted to go for a walk. I just wanted to be out here, experience the sights, the sounds, the smells, the culture, the vibe, the feel. It's just incredible. My brother Justin was here a little while ago and he's like, dude, trust me when you get there. It's just magical, it's just different, and it absolutely is, you guys. This place is alive, it's amazing. Last night, music playing on every corner. We've got people sporting their Puerto Rico flags on their cars, so much pride here. Absolutely loving it. Just wish we had more time to spend. We just barely finished at breakfast it was so good the acai bowl was incredible honey that they put on top was probably my favorite flavor in an acai bowl in addition to my acai bowl i also had a breakfast taco and the taco had parmesan crusted on the outside it was like so good it was stupid good stupid good taco stupid good acai bowl now we're gonna go have a stupid good time at the pool i'm gonna be the debbie downer i get tired i'm ready to get home i'm just thinking ahead i'm like we have school we have so many things coming up we're gonna bust out this day and have a ton of fun and then we're gonna head home get ready for all the fun things ahead for our family We've decided, we've had enough of the pool, it was a ton of fun. We're ready for something a little more epic, a little more Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? We are hitting up the bay here. We had kind of a hard time, honestly, getting here because we couldn't pronounce the name of the area. So it took us to like this back alley of a hotel and we're like, I don't, I don't think, think that you can get right. on a paddleboard here. Honestly, the first time we had like a real language barrier issue because I just don't know where this is. I said paddleboards and even that didn't get through. We finally found it. Yeah. We're here. We're about to grab some paddleboards, head out into the bay, Puerto Rico on both sides of us. I mean, guys, does it get it's more amazing than this? It's beautiful here and the sun shining, just a little breeze, it's gonna be a perfect Afternoon. Absolutely perfection. We got our sunscreen on. We've rented our paddle boards. We've got our wristbands. Let's get out in this water. Do it. What's up, guys? We are on paddle board right now. Oh, yeah, guys. We're on the paddle board. And we're not really very far because it's really windy. Yeah, and the wind is pushing at us and it's kind of wavy. This is going to be an adventure for us, but it's also going to Hazel, are you standing? 
standing up. Hazy's yeah. first one up. Look at you guys standing up. Rex, do we dare stand up? You stand up, I'll stay all balance, okay? You got it? Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Atta boy, dude. All right, should we go? All right, Kirby, try and stand up. Kirby and I are both standing up. Look at the other. Very rocky. Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay, give it to me again. What'd you just say, bro? We're in a freaking lagoon in the middle of Puerto Rico. This is awesome. This is amazing, you guys. Here we are, San Juan, Puerto Rico, all around us, 360 degrees, in the bay, in the lagoon, the Caribbean Sea just out there. It doesn't get much better than this. Last day in Puerto Rico, taking it all in. This is how we bring them, baby. Yeah, Hazy, I know! I was just thinking that. Guys, if you haven't seen it, we have a video where Hazy is paddleboarding, I think, with Maddie. And she falls in, but you guys, it's in Tibble Fork, which is freezing. I mean, ice, ice cold freezing, barely not ice. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Go back and watch that. Kind of a hilarious, not symmetry. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but here we are now in a lagoon in Puerto Rico. Much warmer water. Hazy could fall and swim and not even worry about it. But funny back then when she fell in, it was actually Mana Joe. I think hit their kayak and knocked her in. I think that was it. Go back and watch that video. Oh yeah. Now I am standing up with mom and we're already here. It's kind of waves. So if one comes in, it's a little rocky. Yes, definitely. Now I'm gonna try to jump. And Are you? I think you're gonna fall. Let's go more by dad. Yes. Yo, baby. Hi, Hazy. Oh, you're both standing. Look. Woo! Sisters standing in Puerto Rico. Hermanas. Are you gonna jump off, dude? You ready to send anything? Are you serious, bro? Three, two, one. Go to a side. Oh, I thought you meant jump in, but you meant jump up. That's so savage. Rexy, show them how to jump in. One, yeet. Oh! Okay, see ya. <laughs> Stays on the board. Stays on the board. Guys, I'm not kidding. This water is the warmest water I can remember being in. Hey, what are you coming to <laughs> Guys, Rex is leaving me like no joke. Rex is away. <laughs> I lost my Kirby, he's playing with Rye guys, so we're just standing up, Whoa. paddling here. Brexton's doing it all by himself. Wait. Try and go faster, Brex, faster! Lose him! No, don't, I don't want it. No, don't! Look at that, Brex is my taxi driver. He's my water taxi, my jet ski. Brex, dude, you're a boss, because you're also facing backwards, so this is extra incredible. Brexy, hit it! Hi, Maddie. Hi, Hazy. Maddie, you are a stand-up paddle boarding professional. You ready to get in, Hazy girl? Three, two, one, Sandy. How are you getting in? Okay, I'll get you in. Yeet! <laughs> oh, oh, it's an airplane, you guys. It's coming. Cuckoo canoe Cuckoo canoe <laughs> Okay, right, come on back over, Kirby Do. Swim to me, bro. Hazy, you swimming back? Rejoined with your sister, the one who dropped you in a tibble fork, but you still love her. <laughs> hey, baby, going on over. <laughs> Going. We're all here. Everybody together, Brexy. You doing your own, bro? Oh my gosh, okay, it's underwater. Here we go. It lets you pet it? Okay, hold on. I'll see if we can find it. Oh my gosh, it's under your board. What is that? It is. It's a manatee, you guys. It's a manatee. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. You guys, I am petting a manatee. Ah! Sorry, Rex, sorry. Ah! Rex, it's okay. You can pet him. You want to pet him? Where did we go? Oh, That's incredible, you guys. I've never seen one in real life in my life, and I pet it. It let me pet him. That's so cool. Here we go, here we go. Oh, 
one of you guys. <laughs> He's a big guy. <laughs> He's a big guy. Did you touch him, Bexy? Guys, Bexy just touched him. Did you touch him? Did you touch him? Yeah. Look at his nose over there. Oh my god. So guys, we weren't sure. I thought I was calling it the wrong thing, but it actually is a manatee. It's a sea manatee. So it just swam underneath us. We pet it. That's incredible. A lot of excitement going on here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I saw a picture of that in the posting for, like in the map location for this paddleboard thing. And I was like, that's gotta be Photoshop. That's not right there. And I saw his tail come up and over the water and dip back down. So we went chasing and these guys in the kayaks were out here just petting it. And I was like, wait, can we touch it? Very friendly. Loves to be right underneath the kayak, right underneath the paddleboard. It loves the attention, loves to be pet. Oh my gosh, it's nose. I don't know what the underwater footage looks like because we just keep shoving our GoPros in the water. I hope we got something cool. This just took this Puerto Rico experience to the next level, you guys. This is incredible. Brexy, I know you're a little nervous, but is it kind of cool? Still nervous? Yeah, shit, it's kind of cool. Yeah, shit's kind of cool. I love you. I want you to get a chance to pet it, dude. You want to? Did you touch it? That was so brave! He's right under this guy. Oh my gosh. Ruby, are you petting it? Right guy, careful you don't fall on top of it. Balance yourself. I want it! Crew, I'm so sorry. Over there, Ruby, do? We are. Hey guys, turn, turn, turn. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. He's going pretty far, pretty far. That was such a cool experience to be able to put your hand on. I got to pet it once and it feels like mossy, seaweed, limey, but yet like obviously it's got that hard, I don't even know how to describe it. It was very cool. Hazy is devastated that she was not able to pet it. And Brexton, he freaked out the very first time it came by him and then he got more brave and he finally pet it. But that was a cool experience. Put that down as number one for today. Is there any more animals in there? I wanna stand up here. Guys, we just swam with sea manatees. Okay, we actually stayed on the paddle boards. If I have one regret, is that I didn't get in the water. I didn't even think about it until after. I was so concerned about Brex because he wasn't loving it. And then he wanted me to chase it down to pet it. He was trying desperately to pet it. So he overcame the fear. And not only that, he wanted to touch it. I wish I would have just taken off my life jacket, jumped in, taken a quick manatee selfie. That's a manatee selfie. I would have been so sick. All right, guys, come in and how was it? So fun. Hazy, did you have fun? Yeah, bye. <laughs> 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 We found our own little slice of heaven right here, a beautiful beach just on the other side of the bay where we just swam and paddleboarded with sea manatees. I'm not kidding you guys, I'm not making that up. I confirmed it, that was a sea manatee. We were paddleboarding with it, we pet it. I'm, my mind is blown that we just did that. Just across the street though, there's a beautiful, beautiful beach, very calm. You got these fun rocks over here making a natural reef to make this kind of more calm. The Caribbean Sea out there, you've got the Puerto Rican skyline over here. I believe down that way is actually Old San Juan where we were last night. We're just gonna enjoy the last few moments that we have here in the ocean, in the water. After this, guys, it's gonna be a while before we see the ocean again. Soaking up every last second possible here as a family and loving every minute of it. Hopefully you guys have and loving it as well. Smash that like button. Let us know you love these vlogs. We are excited to be back home. Get some normalcy in our life. Get some routine back in our life. Get the kids back on a schedule. Well, mom is, I'm not. Look at this. Sick little lagoon right here. The waves coming in, the blue water. Bro. Come on over, you got it? Just do a, a one step, don't do a jump. There you go. We 
are gonna say goodbye to the Caribbean Sea, to the ocean. We're getting out now for the last time that we'll be in the ocean for a while, most I likely, know. unless we pull it's off some like random trip. Years. We're gonna go back, get showered up, get dressed up, and get ready for our last dinner. amazing dinner here in Puerto Rico. You guys, it's been fantastic, and it was so cool just meeting one of our subscribers. He's such a cute, oh, the cute little kid. boy. He's been out there collecting seashells with Hazy. You're such a stud, bro. Thanks for tracking us down. Thank you for finding us, and how cool to meet you here on the beaches of Puerto Rico. Okay, let's get back and get ready. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to overstate this, but this is Maddie's very first time getting fajitas in her life. 16 year old California teen gets fajitas for the first time. New vlog title. Check it out. Maddie, I'm very excited for you. This is a big moment. In Puerto Rico, at Tijuana. Kind of a weird place to get those. But, but you guys, it's a first for many. I got fajitas for my very first time on this trip too. They are so good. I got some tacos al pastor, which I don't know exactly what that means, are except delicious. Flowers? We've gathered here on the balcony of our room at the Marriott because we are saying goodbye to Puerto Rico, goodbye to this vacation. Not goodbye to you guys though, you're coming home with us, sorry. You guys are stuck with us. <laughs> this vacation is coming to a close. Tomorrow yeah. morning, we are heading home, get ready for another eight hour flight. Two four hour flights tomorrow, packing our bags up tonight, saying adios, ciao. What do you say to Puerto Rico? Adios. Gracias. Adios. I know that. Gracias. Thank you to the best vacation sure. ever. It's been unreal, you guys. It's been 11 long days of fun in the sun, but you can see on the kids' faces, they're done. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's I love worth it. It is, you guys. Yeah, we are. We are a little tired. So we're going to get home, get back to real life, and get ready for school. And somebody has a birthday. Rock guys got a birthday coming up. <laughs> Don't miss that. Some fun plans for that. Maddie, unfortunately, going home the day after we get back. Boo. Boo. But we got to be with her so much this, this summer. summer yeah. We're and so this sick of her. Seriously, we're oh so gosh, ready to be ready of her. she leaving? <laughs> <laughs> Said no one ever. We love you so much. One last time, guys. What do we say? ABC ya. <laughs>
on the plane, guys, boarded, ready to take off, going to Orlando first. Just found it's only a two and a half hour flight. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that's not bad. That's like one movie. But that means the next flight must be a lot longer, like five, six hours. But first flight, ready to take off, heading to Orlando. First step in getting back home. Let's go. Just landed in Orlando. Hey, look, Hazy put a jet blue sticker on me. So I got my wings, you guys. It's official. We are here, Orlando Airport. We've got about two hours to kill here, so we're gonna get some snacks, probably grab some dinner, listen to more announcements in Espanol, and then get on our last and final flight home. Now, this next flight home is five hours, bro. Five hours from here. But I've downloaded Endgame. I'm gonna watch Avengers. Rai Guy's got some movies and shows downloading on his Kindle. Chef. We will have some entertainment. We're gonna make it almost home. One flight left. Oh, yeah. I'm learning something about these layovers. Two hours is not as long as you think. Like, it no goes way. fast. We went and got food and didn't even have a chance to eat it. Mom didn't even get a chance to get any. We're walking on the plane with pizza. Gonna have to eat it in our seats. But these two hour layovers are like 30-ish minutes. We had that one hour layover that we basically got off the plane and got on the next one because you always board like 40, 50 minutes ahead of time. Yeah, so it goes by fast. Plus by the time the kids get out, they wanna charge all their devices up again for the next leg. I mean, it goes by really fast. Two hours, like a snack. We're boarding the plane with our pizza, getting ready to head home. When we get off this plane, we will be in Salt Lake City. And it's 100 degrees at home. Is it really? 99 dry degrees though. Oh, that's okay, we can handle that. Okay, right, what are you most excited about getting home? Playing with friends and birthday. Birthday coming up? <laughs> Easy girl, are you ready? You got your seatbelt on? Tray table up? Yeah. Seat in the upright locked position? Pringle check. Pringle check. And what are we gonna go home? Who's waiting for us at home? Lazzy. Lazzy, huh? We miss Lazzy. We're gonna go see him. Wheels up in about 10 minutes, guys. We'll see you in Salt Lake City. Yeah. <laughs> We do. So excited. Tired to kids. What about parents? We got some tired parents. It is only 9:30 here in Utah, but we are like fully customized. Customized? A customized. A custom. To east. A custom. Thank you. I can't even speak. To East Coast time. So it's 11:30 in the bodies right now. 9:30 here at home. We got Hazy asleep. We got six checked bags. We got to get to the long-term parking to load up the van. We got to get them to fit. We got to get the kids to fit. Then we've got to get back home before we are officially back home. So excited to sleep in my bed tonight. <laughs> Do a I can't with the backpack. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> I already hurt my bride. We've successfully gathered seven people, six bags. I feel like we just did this a month ago. Oh, that's because that's when we left. We are at our traditional stop zero. I feel like we talk about this a lot, guys. In fact, I was talking to Mindy about this on the plane. These days where we travel the entire day are kind of difficult to put together a fun and interesting vlog because we were literally just on the plane all day today. That's all we did. I just ate crappy junk food on the plane all day. <laughs> Always comes back to food with Mindy, I've noticed. Always, there's no other. <laughs> there's nothing else involved. Honestly, we've been eight-ish hours on the plane, plus you get all the to the airport, drop off, layovers, getting off the airport, grabbing our bags. I mean, it's literally been 10 plus hours of just traveling, airporting, flying. So hopefully you guys have found that interesting. I love putting the vlogs together. It's fun to see us travel. It's fun to document. It's fun to see what it takes to get this many people, this many bags across the country and back. Right now we just got to find our van so we can actually get home. But I will say, I did notice this, you guys, that it's like very hot for Utah right now. It's 10 o'clock at night and it's 
scorching. It's like a dry 90 degrees. 90 degrees at night. Okay, should we have focus on finding the car? Or should I keep vlogging? Let's just keep vlogging. Let's just keep vlogging. So you guys, so we're gonna be here all night. We're gonna camp out 24 hour overnight challenge in economy parking, long term parking. <laughs> Last one to leave. It's our special challenge video for you guys today. It's gonna be the cheapest place we've slept in a while. <laughs> It's us. It's us, buddy. How are you? We're home. Do you even recognize us? Come here. It's me. Dude, that might be the longest we've ever been gone, bro. I can't remember if Hawaii was longer or not. How are you, good boy? Oh, such a good boy. We got lots of bags to get, okay? We'll be right back. Hello. That's appropriate this time. Every other time you yeah. on when we start to close the vlog, it's not appropriate. And you guys, my shirt. Oh, we haven't says, even featured this. What a trip. What a trip. And it was. It was. What, a what a trip. We just barely got home. Kids were already three asleep. of the five were asleep when we pulled in. So we were we carrying just... in bags and kids tonight. Yes, it was quite the task, but they're asleep now. And you guys, my parents are super awesome. They came and put brand new fresh milk and brand new fresh I've already bread had some in of our the milk. pantry. It's so nice to come home to milk. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal right now. I haven't done that in a long time. Great they're amazing. day. Yes. Long day of traveling. We're excited to get back to tomorrow and to real life. And I'll say this, every time we came back from vacation when I was a kid, I remember my parents just being so grateful that the house was still there, everything was in order, everything's cool, and every time we come home, I'm just a sense of relief. Like relieved. Super grateful that it's all here, it's all been very well taken care of. We have a team of and amazing people who help out that while we're gone. happy for us to be home. We're home, that means we need to get some sleep. That means Maddie <laughs> needs to get some sleep. Yeah. Guys, speaking of that, Maddie leaves tomorrow morning, First thing like, in the morning. early. Like, we just drove home from the airport, we're gonna wake up and then drive right I back know. to drop Maddie off. Maddie. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All these kids have to start school, so. We've got school coming up for everybody. Maddie's going into her senior year. <gasps> Mind crazy. blown. She's turned 17 Turned 17 soon. this year. In like a month. That is just yeah. too hard to take in right now. Good night. Good night. Good night. Let's yeah. go to bed. We love you guys so much. We will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. That's very fun.